I saw mm. him on Hinge, message him on Hinge. So she messaged first. I messaged mm. first. And what'd you say? Hey friend. That's the opener <laughs> was hey friend. I hadn't been single in so long. You hit him with friend. <laughs> I know. Was Looking it? back and knowing that she thought I was gay. <laughs> Now I see. I'm like, hey, just... gay bestie. I'm so excited. Yeah, oh, this I'm... is the gumball machine. Right here. Wow. Brought my quarters. It doesn't work. It does. <laughs> it works 12% of the time. You got to give us some credit. I would give it about 6%, but yeah. That's good. The guy didn't, bring, take my chance I didn't bring any quarters. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 124 <laughs> of Dropouts. This week, we have Lauren and her small small dog, Handsome, <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and Jeremy on the podcast. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Wow, wow. Clap sound effects. Track. Let's and I, go. I'm only sad because I've, I, the, the, the research I did, they do that for everybody. Oh, We're not fucking special. I didn't even realize we did that for everybody. I didn't know we did that at all. Oh, it's, <laughs> You guys have probably watched more of, <laughs> of our podcast than I ever have. Anyway, hit some intro music so I can collect my thoughts about wanting to end it all. Speaking Woo. of intro music, I love your guys' intro song. Hey, thank you. Yeah. No, when I was doing research on on your guys, like I first came up, like I watched the very first episode and you guys go right into it. I was like, oh, they had it right from day one. A bop. Yeah. A bop. We do like our bop. Yeah. It's it's yeah. a major bop. If you guys don't mind, our dog is going to be very invasive this entire podcast. If I did? I mean, I texted him and I was like, my only requirement for attendance is that handsome is here. And, and I know you're new here. You might be like, oh, I might not be able to spank the dog and put him in timeout. <laughs> but you feel free to do anything you want. Domestic, uh, domestically abused. Use him, whatever you want to do. Just kidding, PETA. Welcome to the show. Is that humans <laughs> and dogs? Or? Um, hum only with Jared, but it's also his kink, so he's good to go. So guys, what's up, huh? <laughs> so this is kind of why we wanted to have you on the podcast. Um, you guys already have a podcast, and it means we can do a lot less work because you guys are used to talking. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to just, just drive the conversation, really bring up points of interest so people don't click off, that'd be great. Well, we, we were going to leak some pretty big information. Yeah, go ahead and start. Oh, perfect. perfect. We'll, we'll start, start with that. No, stop it. it that minute 46 or so. So you oh. have to stick around for that. Okay, we'll stick okay. around. Oh, retention, oh, for... retention. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Wait, we, um, okay, so what would you guys say are your personal red flags? Oh, we're I, getting I, right into yeah, it. I no introduction, no nothing. Oh, um, <laughs> they, they're both on the internet. They both have a podcast, Wow Till Nine. You guys know them, you guys love them. You might hate them, who knows? I'll start cat people. Okay. Oh, wait, that's a huge red flag. <laughs> yeah. And like, I'm not saying people with cats. I'm saying cat people. Hey, no, no, okay. no. There's an important distinction. Yeah. Like their personality revolves around that walking allergy fucking <laughs> puff. I would say also like closely following that is horse, horse people. I would you, say- You got a real issue with equine It's the people. horse girls, man. It's the horse it's girls always for been, me. Oh, it's always this, been horse girls for you. The horse, girls. horse girls have been a, a common thing in really? your past. Really? So when it said, oh, in no, my No, 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 in your past. Because oh, you oh, said oh. you have a problem with- Problem I've never heard gross. the term so, just real quick, guys, before you, you didn't catch that when Lauren's voice goes three octaves <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, if, if there's a fucking lie like sound effect, just smash that. We're thing. five minutes in. I've already offended half of America. I just said cat people are out. I like Facebook hates me. Yeah, no, but Taylor cat Swift, people, no. Swifties are out oh, when it comes to John. I mean, Swifties are not in your corner. Can, after I, this comment. can I make a don't fucking say a it, Lauren? Violent confession, Lauren. Please. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Say it. <laughs> I fucking hate Taylor Swift. Yeah! Oh my god! As a person, as a songwriter, all of the in between, what's going uh, on there? What is your? Deep are you hatred? trying to make it so no one listens to our shit ever again? Because, because <laughs> I guarantee, right now, if we're going to Spotify and looked at the things that people listen to before and after our podcast, <laughs> it's, Taylor, it's Taylor, Taylor fucking Swift. I know. Swift. I know. I don't know what it is. And listen, like I don't know her as a person, so I can't be like, oh, I hate this bitch. But like, okay, I hate this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is it about? What are her tropes that maybe um, lean you to the side of wanting to physically harm her? <laughs> I feel like there's a small essence of victimizing herself a little bit. Okay. Not always. And you know what? Sometimes it's probably she probably should is is the victim. 100. percent Like I know the Scooter Brown deal. Like that was pretty fucked up. Mm -hmm. But actually, Jeremy has some opinions on that. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Oh don't my god! Don't fucking drag me into yeah, this. Jeremy's got, some, Jeremy's got some hot takes on that. Please, please. I didn't know that we were gonna go into a tea. Story. Jeremy's like, for this next segment, we're single. I, like, we're, we're not together. Not, we're not. I'd rather talk about critical race theory. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! And I, and I would literally rather like take the the, the the stance of the worst version of it too. You know what it is too that just really gets me going. Lauren, is that? No, let's hear it. Let's dive in. I feel I feel safer here. I don't know what it is. I feel oh, you safer. shouldn't. <laughs> you no, no, no. Yeah, TikTok's Jared's, gonna love Jared's that. Jared's on three lists, and one of them is for a crime. <laughs> anyway, um, keep going. So sorry. 
I think it's actually the Swifty fan base that like makes mm. me more violent about it because I feel like when you're like, oh, I don't really like Taylor Swift. Like her music's like not my vibe. Mm -hmm. They fucking throw hands. They are violent. They are violent. Yeah. And so like it makes me nervous to talk about it. But here I am like confessing. You don't seem that fucking nervous. Are you? <laughs> yeah, well, you're, that's you're pretty I feel open. safe here. I feel safe here. You seem like it was almost your agenda for today. It's like <laughs> I've got to go on a public forum and and just spew how much I okay. hate this woman. Well, it's because she's also a violent cat person. Oh, and that's and then you That's what reminded me. You of. get intimate well, that's with That's where we tied right. back yeah. Jeremy into mm. this conversation. I listen. <laughs> so <laughs> bottom line here is that Jeremy does not fuck with Taylor Swift. Incorrect. <laughs> put that put that on TikTok. <laughs> I would put on a T Swift t-shirt right now, head down to the arena, watch her entire live set and be just fine. But if she wants to introduce me to her cat, not interested. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, absolutely. No. You got to draw the line somewhere. Yeah. I mean, um What's your red flag? Yeah. We just talked a little shit. Go ahead. Well, personally, the question I did ask was a little different than what was answered, and oh, I don't, oops. I don't want to put you guys down because you're on a roll. Get a replay. What would you guys say are your personal red flags? No, no, no. He answered. No, no, no. Sorry, I was, I was saying, if you were to tell someone else your own personal red flag, what uh, would it be? Oh, like Taylor Swift. Oh, no, like you as a human being. Oh, oh, what's mine? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hers is not understanding questions. <laughs> okay, okay, so good to know. Not a good, not a good listener. No comprehension skills. <laughs> Listening skills absent. I feel like we should just do this one more try. Yeah. <laughs> um, my personal red flag is that I am like five seconds away. I'm just like a very sensitive individual, like being a little too hungry, a little too cold, a little too like wearing uncomfortable jeans. And I'm like five seconds away from like a meltdown. Okay, oh, okay, okay. And then um, Jeremy, can I whew, <laughs> pipe down on this for a second? Um, do you, do you, okay. When some of these meltdowns happen, how do you, how are you handling it? Oh, I don't. No, <laughs> you walk away from the situation no, it's, it's, entirely. No, no, there's no <laughs> fixing an unfixable problem oh. because the problem's not really there. Got, okay. That's not that, true. that being said, that, that is wildly that, untrue. Remember when he said something about me me saying something? <laughs> I think he specifically told me to pipe down, <laughs> he which, did say, yeah. which is I a little don't problematic. Know how I feel about My that. point is this: the only person that could solve the problem that does not exist is the person who created that problem, exactly, which is her. Mm -hmm. And the, the only thing you don't want to do is try presenting rational solutions. Oh, you don't want that. No, to no, that no, problem. No, 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 no. That would get you in trouble one hundred percent of the time. So I, I just like our first month of dating, though we were out somewhere, and I, I like was I was like I have. 15 minutes before I go feral because I'm so hungry. Like okay. I'm self-aware, you know what I mean? Like I'm self-aware. That's self -aware. good, they're, 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 just a little high maintenance and that's okay. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to say that I'm a low maintenance chill girl. Like no. I, I'm, uh, that's not my brand. The mm -hmm. difference between You're on psychotic. top of Pride Rock just holding those, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> holding everything about you just over so everybody can see. Oh, you. I'm an open book. You did yeah. wear it on your, like I did appreciate that I yeah. feel like at day, I don't know, 21 or so of us being ish together, I had really seen quite a bit of what I was going to see for the next four years. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. How, how, how are you so open with just kind of opening up to people and, and why didn't that deter you? Or do you, do you like a, a girl that's got a little fight in her? Ooh, Lauren, you can go first. <laughs> this is a question for you, what do you mean? Wh wh why are you so comfortable being open? Oh, because I have 10 years of internet trauma. What uh, do you mean? Uh, but oh. I'm, not a, I'm not a vlog camera. What's your most traumatic experience on the internet? Uh, I would say a public breakup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That would top the list. Those are fun. You know? Really fun. We're, we we tried to. We, our whole game plan was not to ask any questions revolving around that, and you're the one that broke it, which is kind of funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we anyway. literally had a whole debate like earlier this morning. It's like, do we bring up this? And like, no. I'm man, the one no. that flagged it down as no, and now that you brought it up, it's it's despicable. fair game. It's fair game. <laughs> no, we're not bringing it up again. All right. So all right. pipe down. Um, so sorry. <laughs> Enough about it. Enough about Alex it. Alex and I are friends. Get over it. Uh, I, I personally like to know where bodies are buried as soon as possible. Yeah. Mm. Because then I know mm -hmm. there's always bodies. Yeah. I just want it. Okay. They're there, 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 there. Fuck. They're in there too. And there. Is that it? And okay, you know, you, there's like half of them. But I, so, there's like half. Yeah. Of them. But I'm to do that. Then like three years down the road, be like, I'm sorry, you've done what this? Three whole years time? down the road, the it's FBI like rather, shows up. I'd rather see the Reddit history immediately. Yeah, yeah. Than too late. No, hundred percent. Because then I'm basically that, corroborating. And you're an accessory after the fact, right? You know. And you guys have probably spoken it, spoken about it to nauseum. But um, who fancied each other first? So we. Wow. Don't worry about him. He okay. <laughs> Oh, I've wants. never heard anyone say two nauseum, not not ad nauseum, two, two nauseum. nauseum. <laughs> that's that's it's like Latin and what, what, it's, it's I'm, like a, I'm a Spang scholar. <laughs> What's the Spanglish version of English and Latin? Uh, Zach Justice, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who is who is who's Twinkle? 
whose eye first who's, twinkled for the other one? The other? Twink- yeah. Twinkled first. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. I was wondering if if either of you were twinks, how would you? <laughs> mm. 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 We just had a conversation, and Jeremy learned about otters. Oh, what do you mean? I what? didn't learn about otters. I used it correctly in a sentence, like a spelling bee. No, no, no. But you <laughs> wanted the definition of an otter. You were like, am I? An I otter? did use it, and then later on, go, was I right about that? Yeah. Are you an otter? Thank you. No, but I think that means I'm. What like, is an light- otter? I think it means I'm like lightly hairy, but. Uh, but not a bear. Yeah, a hairy twink is how it was described to me. Oh, that is, okay. that's an otter. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we both were as not chill with each other, but I would like to say that I set the tone for, for the liking you first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wait, yeah. What, do you, what do you mean by not chill? Does that mean like pretty open about your feelings for each other? Like you're like, uh, damn, you're hot as fuck, you know? Uh, Did you know you wanted to spoink immediately? Or is it more of a, I want to take this woman on a date? We actually just passed our spoink anniversary. Oh, nice. Yeah, How was that? Halloween was our spoink anniversary. Yeah. Really? Oh, wow, spooky yeah. season. Spook- Thanks, guys. Spooky Good to spoink. Know. Oh, spooky <laughs> spoink. Spooky yeah. spoink. Under the sheets, two little ghosts just getting active. Spooky. I love to hear it. It was after a, what, a, a Spotify uh, uh, Halloween party? I can't remember. It was after our Halloween and party. And then he was really drunk. You took a bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just wondering, Honestly, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Completely <laughs> unconsensual. Well, we actually tell the story all the time because uh, in the middle of Coitus, uh, doorbell, my sandwich arrived. But you're already going deep on the, on her roast beef. I was. Uh, oh my God. But I decided to package <laughs> that up to come back for another day. Gotcha. Go grab my other roast beef. Mm. And then we never actually went back to the initial one. But we but then finished it up later on. Literally on our first spooky spoink of the first spoink, we lasted Postmates. More than two minutes. Over spoink. He deserves a medal. But by lasted, he means we chose hamburgers and didn't go back to it. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But you okay. did later in the night, correct? No, nope. no, we literally okay. stopped sex, stopped mm-hmm. spoinking, ate our Postmates and went to bed. And that's why we're here four years later. Yeah, yeah 100%. Did you guys okay, yeah. ever finish? Like, did you guys, you nope. guys haven't gone back to this day? Yeah, that's completely fine. I'm actually Happy born spoink again virgin. anniversary. And then did you guys ever talk about it? Like, hey, remember when we were like, inside each other. Um, I know we did that burger thing, but maybe we can get back to it. Were either of you thinking, hopefully we get back to it? Maybe, mm, not really. maybe one day. Yeah. I'm not counting it out. When do you think you're gonna um, maybe grace her with a child? If her mother was in charge of that question six months ago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which like guys, for just a quick thought here, for the amount of times in my life- Hey Mandy, handsome, so sorry. Hey, han- hey Alyssa, <laughs> bye buddy. Bye. Oh. oh. Very cute. cute. Uh, sorry, audio <laughs> listeners, but if you're on audio, now great time to go over and hit, hit that subscribe button on there our you, channel first, and then dropouts. You there can you unsubscribe go. from ours, honestly. It's, 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 it's a fast decline. It's, <laughs> we've, we've, we've climaxed a long time ago. No, um, the thought that someone's mother would like me to purposefully get their child pregnant Sp- is a big 180. I have a lot of other mothers <laughs> in my life. <laughs> that's And that's how you know you're in a good relationship when you actually, or when the family actually wants you that to- That or her parents have given up <laughs> on her finding anybody else and they think it's the best option. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. <laughs> Just so you know, kind of how the whole rigmarole is gonna go is some of his fluids, mm. preferably genitalia, um, mm. is, gonna, is gonna enter its way into, okay. Can I do that? Can you get that one more time? Yeah, yeah. can I get that action? Okay. <sighs> So you're gonna spread your legs. Um, oh God. <laughs> Stirrups. Stirrups. So your your parents, they when did they start liking this young man? Woo! Tell me tell me the truth. When did you say, oh, maybe you could come over and meet my parents who live in Toronto usually? How how long after we started talking? You're like, this was last week. <laughs> So Jeremy basically was like, oh, I'd love to meet your parents because ah, they were visiting my parents guy. in Canada. He wanted, yeah, remember you met my parents in the living was, room first. I was open to meeting your parents. I didn't and like say, I would love to meet your parents. Yes, you did. You invited, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you invited know what? yourself. You know, what actually, <laughs> <laughs> you know what, actually, I'll take this. Yeah, what do you <laughs> mean? That's like, I really, it looks really good on yeah, you no, as no, a boyfriend. I'm, I like your reality that you remember better than yeah. mine. So we're gonna go with this. So he met my parents within like probably the first month maybe of us dating. And oh, then bold move. Literally bold. 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 Bold move, bold move. Were we even dating? Yeah, yeah, we were dating. I don't think we were actually dating, dating. I think we were. I think we were just- I think we're fresh. Mm. Mm. It's hot to Mm. say. We're fresh. Okay, great. I think we're fresh. And then he, my mom invited him to come to our Christmas, like also a month later. So like two months into (laughs) our relationship, he, he was invited to our Christmas. 
Wow. And did you kind of be like, uh, now it's awkward because you probably wanted to break up with him for some time, but now it's awkward because right. the family would be asked. asking questions yeah. and things like that. He was yeah. already in the Christmas cards. Like, yeah, you can't, yeah, there's the no photo. going back. Uh-huh. I had a stocking. <laughs> yeah. You had a stocking. Oh my God. I had a God. stocking year one? Probably. I mean, my mom goes pretty hard for Christmas. And so she would mm-hmm. never, like, not, she would never leave someone out from having a stocking. Mm. Gotcha. You know, a lot of moms would. No, That'd be a year 100%. Two. My mom leaves me out. Of really? Stockings. Damn. Yeah, hundred percent. What's your mom's name? Wait, which Julie. one? Do you have, which one? Do you has two moms. Julie. I do. Oh, that's that's Jared. weird. He so when you say two moms, when you say yeah. mom, don't say gross after that. <laughs> You'll get canceled. Uh, no, I'm so excited cool. for you. Say cool. There we go. Yes, are Perfect. you kidding? Yeah. That's so fun. That was good. Yeah, yeah, that was good. And everyone at home, that was the third try she did it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first two were no. If it good. looks like a weird jump cut, because she said. <laughs> she threw up on one of them and had to change clothes. Yeah, sorry about that, handsome. So when you say mom, which one are you referring to? My birth mom. That's Julie. Okay. The so one that I, still has I, the receipt of from his birth. Oh. <laughs> uh, the other one, like I still call her April. Like not that she doesn't deserve like a mom title. It's just she came into my life when I was like 12-ish. Okay, got and it. And so it was already just like I was old enough no. to be like April. You mom know? was OG and then April was 12. Exactly. I was adopted, exactly. but I don't like, you refer really? to weird moms. Oh. It's just one mom. Yeah. The one I did oh. not come out of. Do you know your biological parents? I do know. You do? Yeah. When do you meet them? Which one's or better? like, have you always known them? Or? Uh, f- age four and 17, respectively. Okay. Have, what was your question? Which one's better? The uh, adopted parents or the real one? Uh, the adopted one. Yeah. You like those better? Okay. Yeah. Single mom adopted. So just one. No oh. way. Yeah. They shouldn't move. allow that. Yeah. <laughs> they shouldn't allow that. And Zach. I am feeling a little triggered from that, but I'll address that later. <laughs> yeah, please do. Just please <laughs> yeah. don't address it my way just because I've... Couldn't have a care in the world, but go ahead, go over to Jared. Sorry, but to mom squared over here. Yeah, to yeah. mom squared. Oh, I told you this is how he boasts. I came from a single mother. Single mother. Do you have parents that are together? Yeah, that's like pain. Of course you do. <laughs> okay, yeah. when my mom Wild had me, she was yeah. a single mother. So all single mothers here. Anyway, what what was the reason for adoption? She was 15. Oh man. Mm. Okay, wait, but the kicker is that Jeremy's family tree is really wild because his birth blood grandmother or whatever okay. had a teen pregnancy. Nice. Okay. And then she had a teen pregnancy, which was- So it runs in the family. Lo and behold, this one right here. Uh-huh. And then blood grandma adopted Jeremy. Right. But the the the- the asterisk here is that she's also adopted. Whoa, hold yeah. on, hold on. I'm okay. trying to I know, it's, it's a very confusing family tree. Wait, 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 you're adopted by someone who's actually related to you? He was adopted by his grandma, but at like age zero. So like when, Four, when we meet, like when we <laughs> hang out with his mom, it's like, there's just, there's a generation in between, but it's like the same age as like my parents. But from a family tree perspective, that woman who adopted me, who is my biological grandmother, uh huh, is adopted. So it's like, we don't really, like my family tree is like a line ray. <laughs> what do you think Array. it is about Wide segment. how you guys look as, as infants that no one wants you? I just think it's a, do we need another white baby in the world? No. I well, feel that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Why are you trying to make half of one? Right. Kind of a half of one is are better than a whole one. Being racially ambiguous has been amazing for my career. Oh, it has. I mean, yeah. uh, think of the brand deals. Huh? Oh, you have no idea. What? What they, is like it? brands can't hire white people? How no. do you think she got her HBO show? Can't have a white host. No, no. Wait, it's not, not anymore. It's not a wild. It's not talent. No, it's no, not. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. It's yeah. not building like a phenomenal, no. you know, entertainment. No, career. no, 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 no. You can't hire a white person. Yeah. What's funny is I, I did research in two forms for this podcast: a recent podcast and the very first podcast. Oh, our very first, the first like rough. twenty minutes of each. And my favorite was, and it's so relevant right now, when they were describing your type of woman. Okay. There was something like lightly exotic that was put out there. And <laughs> oh, I was like, that's gonna. I was like, that's gonna People age like love fine fucking wine. <laughs> exotic. Yeah, yeah that's um. The thing is about getting canceled is if you're just like, <laughs> if you're just like, no, I'm not, what are they going to do? You know, it's like, no, I'm not. It's Kanye's theory. Well, I don't want that comparison. <laughs> but, <laughs> but thank you so much. Hello, Jewish people. I love you. But uh, no, you just, you just proved your point. Cause he's like, he's like, oh, it's kind of like Kanye. And you're like, no, I'm not. I'm not uh, like Kanye. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not. And then boom, um, <laughs> you're in the clear. Okay. So as someone who is oh. white adjacent slash not white adjacent and it's good for brand deals, what was your biggest mm-hmm. brand deal ever? <sighs> what an interesting way to <laughs> yeah. segue into that conversation. Who knows, man? I don't know. Is that in the fucking list? I was guys? a Fanta girl for two years. Oh, hell yeah. What does that I was, even I was mean? a Fantana. So like the, they have like the old school Fantanas who was like, uh, I think it was just girls. And then they like brought back, they revived the Fantana. Fantana, but we had a dude and there was like, there was no, again, no white people. 
<laughs> no white people, zero oh. white people. What did you think about that? I'm Sorry. like, fuck yeah, another another <laughs> win for the racially ambiguous. Let's go. Nice, nice. Money in my pocket. And so I got to be a fan of You didn't stand up for us? Say, Absolutely I, I not. Like fuck you guys. Right you, got, you guys. You got you guys. all the brand deals at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it's our turn. But what brand deal have I ever gotten? <laughs> I got into the game when it, they weren't, they're not there anymore. I got into a little late. Mm -hmm. I wish I was like 2010, you know, yeah. influencer when like white was like you're killing it if you're oh, white. Oh yeah, yeah. Now it's like ooh, gross. Yeah, ooh, you like know, cool. white people like, yeah. actually be talented or something. Yeah, yeah, and that's not something I'm even going to attempt to do. I get become it. skilled at something. Um, speaking of white people that are talented, so like uh, the people that hit the woe on the internet, the good looking white boys and and white girls and and any other race that wants to do that as well. Um, what do you, how do you see them? Like, what do you see their future as? You know, someone that's been in the space, I guess, for a long time. Do you think they have longevity? These, these kids that are hitting the well? You can't possibly be looking at me to answer that question. <laughs> With the floofy hair and stuff? Oh yeah, the floofy hair. The floofy hair has got to go at some point. There's okay. there's not enough product in the world for the floofy hair to continue. <laughs> at, the rate, would bear a difference. at the rate that the hair has been floofing. Oh, please. Um, I just had a conversation about this because I think some of the girls who who got famous off of doing the woe were like, oh, now's my opportunity to like grind and like, like dig out a brand. I thought you meant like, they're else. just going to switch from the well yeah. to just grinding. To grinding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so gotcha. Oh, that ass in a circle. Also, I feel like people don't say grind anymore. How old are you again? I'm 27. Oh yeah. So grind is like our era. Yeah. Oh like yeah. We would, I mean, middle school dude, dance, grind. home school, or yeah. homecoming dance. Pretty Ricky. Grinding. Grind with me. Yeah. Yes. People don't say grind me. anymore. Or I, uh, what, what were other songs that- Dude, the um, weirdest song I ever like got grinded onto was, um, <laughs> Shut up and dance by Walk the Moon. <laughs> that's a good grind. It's, like, on me it's song. like too fast. Yeah, You're no, like, that's like a core memory from like a homecoming dance. Is like shut up, and, but it's just like oddly sexual. I don't know, but we're like the entire, 15. But the entire time, where you kind of just being like, I hope I don't, you know, yeah, hundred percent reach. No. <laughs> reach. Um, How much of the penis can you feel when you're grinding? Oh, that's this a, is a good question. I've been, I'm sorry, I guys, I don't, I don't mean to ask. No, we had that. We had it written down. So thank you for. I sat on the whiteboard when I walked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was this a question for me? It's a blackboard. Yes. I, I you know, I wasn't sure. I didn't, I didn't want to single anyone out for, you know, being on that side of the grinding. Um, it's, it, one, I think it depends on what you're wearing. Okay. Like, and by when you, what one is wearing? Boy, girl? Both. Got it. Because I mean, if we're both wearing like Lululemons. Oh, like you're some, feeling everything. You're feeling everything. Yeah. Uh, the lumps, the bumps, the- The, <laughs> the lovely lady and, humps. And say, <laughs> say you are at a high school dance, um, not currently, because that would be a crime. Oddly inappropriate. Definitely a crime. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jared, told you. Um, <laughs> so, so, so say you're throwing it back at a high school dance and, and you know the guy you took, you, you, do, you do feel something a little bit less soft on, mm -hmm. on your mm -hmm. backside. Mm -hmm. A belt what, buckle, um, a boner. Okay. Um, um, <laughs> no what, cover. What is your what is like what is your thoughts back then or or even now if you guys are dancing? Are you like? Gross? I think like in middle school, I like before I'd seen a penis, mm -hmm. I was like not. I was okay. So like when you're grinding and you feel something, you're like, is that a boner or is that just like the penis being a penis on the body? Gotcha. You okay. know what I mean? Because it's like obviously with a girl, it's just like it's just flat, but it's like obviously the dick has to go somewhere. And it's some would argue that the penis is just being a penis in the body when it's a boner as well. That's true, true, but in a different form. What, it's, what if it's identifying as just a soft penis when it's and hard? Then it should live its life and identify as how it wants to identify. Okay, good. Sorry, I, I interrupted you. Media you so trained much. right there. Media yeah. trained right <laughs> there. It's been 10 years, baby. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like at the beginning, before you've seen a penis, you're like, is this a what a boner is? But then once you once you encounter a boner, you're like, oh, you know what a boner feels like. And how many okay. boners have you encountered? Yeah, <laughs> just, just one, obviously. Of course, just one. Born again just virgin, yeah. yeah. Oh. One of those girls, huh? One of those. Where, where you, did you grow up religious or anything? No. Okay, okay. A lot of the girls in my town will let you put in any hole, but that one would yeah. still be okay by Jesus. <laughs> um, he knew Catholics. Okay, born again. Um, were, you, uh, were you guys, your podcast isn't family friendly. No. No. But you came from a family friendly place for a while? Like brand wise? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, how, yeah. how, how was that switch? Was that scary? Was that- I take the back. Our podcast is family friendly. It just depends on the family. Sure. Very yeah. true. Like smart, intelligent, not cat people families. Not, <laughs> not cat people. And sometimes Swifties, but like preferably not. Preferably a lot of Swifties. In fact, if 99% of the Swifties want to listen to our podcast, great. Oh, I mean, okay. Now we're talking. I'll, I will put on a fucking Taylor Swift t-shirt. you guys want to alienate some more people, any negative comments on BTS? <laughs> oh. oh, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, good. Only good, good. because- 
I thoroughly enjoy their music. Yeah. I'd say that too if uh, <laughs> they actually have an army. It's, yeah. Right. Well, that, and I just add Black Pink right on top of it as well. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Uh, back to boners. Uh, so, how many? One. Okay. Got it. Obviously. Great. Nailed mm. it. How many boners have you seen? Counting Jared's? Yes. One. Mm. But okay. man, was it glorious. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's got he's got some good veinage. You can tell he's got some good circulation. He doesn't breathe well up top. That's no. why, for whatever reason, I think blood flow transfers down. Mm-hmm. I literally just had a conversation today with a girl who refers to her. How many conversations have you had today? Because it seems like a lot. Yeah, you, it's with like a comedian yeah. that had just done all I, these I've, things. I've week. had a day today, okay? We've been up since 6.30. Um, I had a conversation today with a girl who her boyfriend refers to her vagina as a venusy. Venusy? Why is that? I'm going to need a it's, lot it's more a, context. A, a veiny puss, a venusy. I didn't know those existed. A veiny Do we know those? Puss? Puss? <laughs> so I'm just trying to like <laughs> get a mental image. It's I so think like, it was more like, like the... the uh, upper cooch area, like more mm. of like the whatever between Muff. the fupa and the the cooches, whatever like that area was. I think was vain. Is this- um, I call that the don't touch zone. Mm. <laughs> For old girls, tell me that. Ah, yeah, <laughs> they're like don't touch that, and I'm like okay, <laughs> okay. but then I'll go please, and I'm like. No. <laughs> now, now, is your friend like part of like the the Colin family? Like, is she basically translucent and you can see a lot of the veins? Like, I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out. What... Yeah, could you get a picture by chance before this podcast is done? The best part is that I actually have a fiction picture. Let's cut to a clip. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is, man. What's funny is by her saying that, now I know who it is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> would you would have guessed that it was that veiny? Actually. Now you think about it, yeah. She sounds like a very um, paper white individual. Maybe. She's not not. She's not not. You did make a, a little bit of a segue that, that I interrupted, was, which is the whole podcast not being as family friendly as everything else you did. Mm. I think that was kind of the point, right? Oh yeah, that was 100% the point. People are not super down with change. And when you go from like being pretty family friendly, which was definitely not intended, it's just like DIYs and crafting is like pretty wholesome. Yeah. So like how do you sneak like, a titty into that? What? How do you sneak a titty into like- How do you sneak a titty into that? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Or a little little fuck or whatever. And- mm. um, Maybe a big one. Yeah. Maybe a big one, exactly. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a gradual change. And I think the podcast, like starting like a new platform was like helpful to be like, we're gonna curse here and talk about boobies and boners. For an hour every week. Every week. What um what, <laughs> what okay, so you, you come yes, out with you come out with this podcast. It's uh-huh. like, oh, we're talking about the boobies and boners and what was the initial reaction from from the people that watch you, the viewers you might say? Oh, I mean people were so down. Were they with like it. gasp? They were like gasp, but like with a yes on the end of it. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Like yes. people were, cause I think people had like, who had grown up with me over the years were like fucking finally, like we know that you've been like drinking and going out and shit your mm-hmm. entire life, but like weren't allowed to say anything. Yeah. And so like the stories that I was finally allowed to fucking say were- No, cause it was like, um, whenever people would subtweet you, they'd call you the plan B princess. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. Just cause like every weekend, you know, you're you're just <laughs> slosh just another one fucking, out. Yeah, throwing yeah. them down. By the way, and I have taken down that bot farm that I started mm-hmm. for that, oh, but yeah. I see, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, Reinstated it. It's yeah. actually, it was a transfer. You guys, yeah, he set it back so up. Nice. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so glad yeah. you're so invested. Mm-hmm. It's How pro, dedicated. It's like pro Trump and Plan B for you. Ooh. This yeah. podcast is going to be so strange for our next guest. Um, like we're going to transition from like boner pee pee poo poo talk to uh, <laughs> no, no, our guest after our next guest. Oh, okay, never mind. We're yeah, do you want to share any of this or just talk over our heads? Um, yeah, who's the next guest? Why well, we, we can bleep it out, but we're having. Uh, Get the That's fuck out. Literally three days in a row. It's and then we have coming on. <gasps> I cannot wait for that episode. I know. Oh my God. That's going to be a wild one. Feel free to slide our business card over here <laughs> on oh, the of way course. out. But you of just course. outlined my For You page. <laughs> <laughs> and you're welcome. I, just no. let me know how it goes. Oh, no. We're so excited. Do you need an we're, unpaid intern for that day? Yeah, of course. Uh, we've already got yeah, one. Who do you think she is? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know the Venmo is definitely going to bounce. Do you need a paid intern for that day? <laughs> Yeah, okay. just be her assistant. Can we just ask questions now for yeah, those yeah, people? Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly would just like to know all of the things that we're talking about from. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when was the last? When was the first time you spoiled up? Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> um, Jared, hit him with your hard hitting question. What? You you said okay. I have a very hard hitting question. I, I can actually see that. his notes from here. Yeah, I know. Oh my God, I'm God. nervous now. There's there's a lot. It's a kind of just a lot of filler because sometimes I stumble over my questions <laughs> like a great <laughs> podcaster would. Um, so I write out l- like verbatim what I'm supposed to say. Go ahead. But you anyway, can, you can read it if you yeah, want. Just, no, yeah. I just, Do you want to read it? Listen, we're we're bringing both of you on because we love uh, Wild Till Nine. But like, what? So 
we talked about what made you want to start yeah, it. It was a stumbling. I know. He's yeah, like, no, he's shut like, shut up. He's because trying because to, we I'm love trying, Wild Till 9. I'm trying to not read it. Um, <laughs> just read it. It's fun. That's fun. That I love teleprompters. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, watch the, watch the face get no. more and more red. Zach, I, you go back to your question. Welcome I'm, to Anxiety I'm Station. Population Jared. <laughs> I'm flustered. No, that's fun. Just read it. What's it like doing a podcast? <laughs> Here we go. With your significant other. That's our third day and time. I thought it was going to be an intense question. No, no. <laughs> like a philosophical no, question. No, 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 no. He just can't talk to other people. You don't know how therapeutic this, is, this podcast has been for him. Yeah, no, this is like exposure therapy. You should see yeah, yeah. doing it during an ad read. It oh takes him 45 minutes to get through a sentence. Oh, that's why I don't read any of our ad reads. It's like, to get out of them. Oh, no, it's great. It's fantastic. But then Zach gets mad when I give him direction on. He's like, shut up. You don't even do these. You can't so. read. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it's fine. Next question. It's oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, keep, keep him going. This is good. Oh, you got this. You hit him. <laughs> no, you Jared. have the Chronicles of Narnia links notes in front of you. There's yeah, one no more question. Can get it through it. Can you see them? I think you actually see my yeah, line. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Get through it. There is quite a bit. Um, and also, a fun thing about Jared, he has an inability not to smile. <laughs> Like Jared, if you could stop smiling for ten seconds, I can't. I, that'd be handy, I, like front row. Miss DIY will give you a hundred dollars. Ready? Be a great seat filler. Oh no, and we have been seat fillers before. Oh, that's how we used to make money when we first got to LA. Is we no be shit, really? seat fillers for shows? Yeah, oh, we were. Yeah. I don't know that people got paid for that. Not yeah. much. No, about, it's about enough for half your groceries. Yeah, okay. so, yeah. yeah, better than nothing. Better than know. nothing. So like Ralph's groceries, not Whole Foods. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, like Aldi's groceries, not Ralph's. All right, yeah. let's not yeah. shit on Aldi. I still shop there. I love Aldi. Okay. Okay. Ask ask another question. Let's see if you get through it. <sighs> Continuing with, like <laughs> with the question before. <laughs> About working with your significant other, are there days where like you're just like I don't want to film with you because you got in like an argument or something? Do you guys get in arguments? A Not lot really. The next question. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, please just. Talk. I'm really impressed with the fact that you guys made it 30 episodes before you ever had your first guest on. Did we? Yeah. Well, because we started during COVID, so like we weren't like really allowed to see people. I feel like when we started yeah, our no. podcast, and we refused to like do the the, the remote guest thing. No, yeah, it's we oh, it's absolutely so not. Yeah, it's, the worst. it's so hard. To semi answer your last question, we just don't do the podcast on a day where mm -hmm. one of us wants to kill each other, mm -hmm. which oddly enough is not as often as you'd think. I think because also too, like we have, like this is not both of our like main thing. I feel like when you have a brand together, like that with your significant other, like shit can hit the fan real quick on any day. But I think because this is like- just, Really? I had no idea. Yeah, that would be <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> How many people are usually on this podcast? Um, <laughs> There's always only been two. Why okay. is she gone again? <laughs> Got it. Um, like do you want to talk track. about Should we talk about it? Yeah, let's talk. She's um, invisible? I don't know. <laughs> um, and she's mute now? Anyway. She, like, in her contract, she had like a three month like break period. And yeah, she's yeah, just, yeah. She's, it's her ninth month of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, she's. Um, <laughs> this one went south. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. The, uh, the, the only difficult thing I think you have is like when one of us is not in a good mood and the other one's in a good mood, mm -hmm. the one in the good mood has to be the one to be like, you know what? That's okay. Today would have been really convenient. Works for my schedule, but because you're in a shit mode, mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep my smile on and just not do this podcast today. Yeah, you which has happened compromise. three times. Yeah, and I think also too, if someone's like in a medium mood, where it'd probably be better to like not film the podcast, but like we do it scheduling anyway and it wise, sucks. we do it, and then someone's just gotta like take the brunt of it and like has to carry it, which yeah. is like that's also happened too, because like Jeremy works a really stressful job, and my job is also stressful, but in different ways. Like yeah. you know, you work long hours and. If he's tired and brain dead, it's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta fucking yeah. gotta try. There's carry. nothing like after 12 hours working behind a computer going, now I'm gonna be on talent. And just yeah, now smile. you gotta like put on I a I could face use your fucking and... smile, that'd be great. <laughs> you could just sit in for me once in a while, that would be great. Oh, let's do it, yeah. absolutely. I don't have a perpetual smile. Like I have to think about myself, don't look like a dick, don't look like a fuck, don't look like an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I don't, I personally don't know how to smile. Okay. So I feel, are you in the similar vein? Well, I just, it's probably the single mother in you. No. Yeah. I've never been in my single mother. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'd well. love to be in Jared's. <laughs> he actually was told, I, he was told that he looks like he shouldn't, what was it? You, you shouldn't smile. Oh something. yeah, recently you, I was told by um, our co-host that um, I look, what was it? I look, you look like you're not built to smile. I look like I'm not built to smile. <laughs> like it senses like that, you're like, what the fuck? No, yeah, that, that one keeps you kind of up at night. You're just like, what did they mean they, by that? that? Mean? Yeah. Do you have resting bitch face? Well, I guess that's more of your call. Um, <laughs> I think I just have an inability to 
express my emotions in such a way that seems human. Genuine. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So I, so if you say you- Can we look at the, the definition of psychopath? <laughs> oh, oh, it's Zach. Oh. Or <laughs> it's Zach Justice. Or sociopath. Yeah. Or maybe want... a mixture. No, I think psychopath, because aren't most like Fortune 500 CEOs like psychopaths? Like sociopath is one that doesn't feel have- Feel emotion. Yeah, yeah, doesn't feel emotion. Okay, then yeah, the sociopath one, yeah. Okay, that's, see the thing is Zach feel, like every once in a while, he'll get like a little glimpse of emotion. So he's not a sociopath. Aww. Yeah, what's your kink? What was the time you cried? Um, Both of those. Oh, Yeah, go kink and then cry first. <laughs> okay, my my kink is, I just, uh, I, I want a boy, okay. um, preferably that smiles a lot, mm -hmm. to watch me oh boy. clap the cheeks uh, of- Spoink. Spoink. I shouldn't have said clap the cheeks. That was so yeah. rudimentary. Um, mm -hmm. I, I want him to cuck and watch me <sighs> get intimate with two parents of the same sex. Mm. <laughs> That's kind of my kink. This is your son? That is so specific. <laughs> it's you. I, yeah, I got that much. Um, uh, what do you guys normally fight about? No, 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 hang on, there's one more question. When was the last time you cried? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure fairly recently based on some, really? some things that are happening in my life. Never would have guessed that. <laughs> what do you guys fight about? <laughs> <laughs> are, 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 you guys, are you guys good fighters? Oh God, mm. she's terrible. Are you petty? We've come a long way. So I think one of like my issues when we, we first started fighting is that Jeremy has been in sales, like basically ah. since the moment he walked out of the womb. <laughs> and so like when I started like she learning- I, It was a tight fucking squeeze, okay? <laughs> walked out of the womb as a salesman. So like when we started fighting, I would like start learning his fucking like manipulative salesperson and techniques. And then you buy a car by the end of it. You're like, yeah, yeah and then I have a car and, and then I'm she had still a subscription wrong. to fucking yeah. Manscaped. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still and wrong. And I'm still wrong, but now I have a new used car. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so then I could like start sensing when he's trying to like manipulate the car. Not like, that sounds like a really fucked up word. Yeah, it sure does, but yeah. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> to influence, sway? To suggest? Suggest? To present, present, to highlight both sides. Where this is just the thesaurus.com right now. But yeah, so like <laughs> the salesperson uh, techniques would come through in like fighting or communication or whatever. And it, remember how I said that I get angry when I'm hungry? And Take, and if your jeans are too tight or something? Yeah, scratchy. And if like scratchy the wind fabrics. goes south or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all of the above. Yeah. That sits 10 tiers higher of anger than scratchy jeans. Is like when you recognize that um, somebody is suggesting that I'm being sold yeah, on they, like a fight. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get let's get a scenario going. If you guys don't mind doing a little role play for us, right? Zach, when I tell you that there's nothing that I enjoy more <laughs> than fighting, <laughs> role playing. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Um, let's say, okay, can you maybe bring up a common annoyance to this man Jeremy over here and see how he would maybe manipulate well, my gears. Manipulate his way out of this fight? No, I don't even want to do this because he's gonna he's gonna own all of us <laughs> in about ten seconds with his salesy stuff. That's unfair. Okay, white people are done with doing that, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, no, I would. You're ruining it for all of them. Listen, I don't know who you're speaking to, but it's certainly not me because I would love to lift everybody up. See sales. See you see that shit? No, I didn't. Yeah, exactly. No, he's exactly. It's not a zero sum game, Lauren. We can all win at the same time. Exactly, and we're gonna circle back on this after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, we'll be looped in. Handsome, eat my fucking feet. Hey, Alyssa, can you grab the boy? No. Handsome. I just want to make sure he doesn't ruin your shoes. Handsome's got balls. Oh, he's got some balls on him. Our yeah. dog just got nuts. neutered two days ago. Oh, how old? Seven. Oh. How uh, How is he taking it? Is he is he pissed or is he still kind of like loopy? Is he not entirely sure no, he's noticed they're he's gone. He's been like literally yeeting himself off the back of the couch. And we're like, sir, like you've got a 14 day like <laughs> hold where you're supposed to be like, not okay. And he's just living he's light. lighter now. He can jump he higher. He lost five teeth and two balls and he's like for sure three pounds lighter. What happened to the teeth? Um, this is like an adoption slash rescue situation. Oh, you guys didn't pay for your dog? Mm. Gross. Not this one. I just didn't realize we're around poor people. <laughs> <laughs> um, kidding, we all know you have way more money than us. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, Jared wanted to know if you could pull up your bank account to the big screen. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what what bank is that? Is that U.S. Bank? Uh, yikes, U.S. Bank. Oh no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy's like, sorry, I didn't know we were around. Yeah. Uh, God, I didn't know it was a community Whores. service. <laughs> sorry that all my money's not in crypto. Uh, <laughs> all my money's gone from crypto. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, financial advice. Uh, Jared, what's the next question over there? Well, speaking of money, actually, I want to bring this up because I was diving deep into your YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting. Um, so, well, you're one of the like the OGs, I would feel like. That's, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Been on YouTube for over 10 years. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> nice. Got you horny, huh? <laughs> all right. Um, 
Um, I I thought it was like I she thought it was kind of cool. she's like yeah I've been on there for ten years almost eleven <laughs> all right I thought it was really cool to see you did a vlog where you're like moving into like my first LA apartment what was that six or seven years ago or something yeah seven years ago probably and then um less than a year later or no just over a year later you do a second vlog where you're like moving into like a new LA apartment uh -huh, uh -huh. and then that same year you're buying a house <laughs> so that was a good year. That yeah, was, yeah, yeah. I want to know what was happening that year. What changed? How fast did it change? And what was that like? Okay, so I moved from Toronto to LA and uh -huh. everyone's like, oh, you can do YouTube from everywhere. Like you can, yes. But like the opportunities that you have being here versus being in like Toronto, especially seven, eight years ago, like there was six YouTubers. So like yeah. your ability to collab was like pretty, pretty small. Yeah. The pool of like YouTubers. Yeah, you there. and Lily Singh did pretty fine though. <laughs> and here we are both in LA. Yeah, I see it, yeah. Did Justin Bieber stay in little old, uh, where's he from? Uh, Stratford or something? Like you're gonna need to tell us that. You're yeah. the resident Canadian Although expert. Although I'm a believer, I'm not a, I'm not a Canadian. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Um, but yeah, so I moved to LA and I think you can just make more content. One, it's not cold as shit half year round. So you can make content all year round and like be outside for it as well too. Cause like that was the era of like, the lifestyle, girly, B-roll, high saturation, act oh, like yeah. you're being super happy. You would be perfect for this though, because you're always <laughs> smiling. Go back to YouTube six years ago <laughs> and you're gonna you would kill thrive. it. <laughs> Was it kind of funny seeing everyone have that persona of everything's happy and then seeing everybody in real life and being like, oh no, we're all dead inside? E yes, but like a little comforting. Are, are, are there anyone still doing kind of the happy fun? No, uh, I feel like we all just cry online now openly. You know okay, what I mean? Good. Like it's too exhausting to hold that facade. That means it's coming back. Get ahead of it. Oh, you're oh, right. Jared, it's your time. Yeah. One of my hard hitting questions was what was your favorite DIY? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Nailed it. What, what else we got on the list? That was a great question. <laughs> what else we got what on the was, list? When did you first start making money from YouTube? I don't know when YouTube actually started mm. monetizing, but did you like, was your first paycheck from YouTube? Or did Jared's you like, what was Google videos like? <laughs> what was Google videos yeah. like? Are you still on Vimeo? Oh, sorry, what was the question? When was when, my first? Yeah, what was your like first paycheck? Was it from YouTube or was it from a brand deal? Paycheck ever or like internet paycheck? Internet, internet paycheck. paycheck. Oh yeah, it was from Google AdSense. It was like 19 cents. Okay. Was it, wait, was, it was your blog though, right? Oh yeah, might have been, been banner ads. Yeah, might have been banner ads. You're so right. Which also would have been about my chick HTMLs. Cents. Yeah, what? she HTMLs. Whoa, yeah. five. My the my old, my old space one. my oh. space HTML. Oh no, Notepad plus plus or whatever it was. No no no, like edit your theme in my. Oh, gotcha gotcha yeah. gotcha. Okay, sorry, I thought you were just coding for whatever reason. Twenty seven okay. year olds coming. Did you guys have MySpace? No, I didn't. Really? I wasn't allowed to have social media until my senior year of high school, and I honestly I kind of snuck it. Um, I made a Facebook account because uh, Sorry, my senior like class had a group chat and like they would plan like all sorts of stuff. And so I've like snuck. Oh, you don't sneakily. need to convince us. That's, yeah. That seems like a legitimate experience. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. I made, I made one for that. And then I like, I was so worried about like my mom finding out. I just went and told her and she was like, she's like, I'm not happy about it, but I, okay, that makes sense. You did just sign up for the draft this year. So you can keep <laughs> yes, the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, what, where do you work on a normal? behind a computer ah, fuck. we actually can't this is the line okay so um <laughs> you you've worked on the internet when, for a while when did you realize that this could be a career like going from a 19 Ooh. cent paycheck to like oh wow i can live off of this so i finished university um flex oh very canadian <laughs> am i allowed to be you? on this podcast i'm not a driver. it's okay oh, i finished college it's we dude this thing is going downhill fast okay. college matter. too I graduated yeah, in two gross. years, actually. Fucking loser. <laughs> What'd you just say? You graduated in two years? Yeah. Whoa, flex. My, with, with what degree from where? Well, it's it's a Don't media, say full sale. It, no, no, no. <laughs> it's a media degree from uh, the University of Cincinnati. Bearcats. Hell yeah, yeah. Bearcats. Got it. Gross, huh? I don't know what you're saying right now. <laughs> anyway, so I, so basically for like my entire time in university, I was making YouTube content. So like I could have gone full time with it paycheck wise after my third year, but like, Asian mom had to graduate, and so that makes sense. Why so. you look? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. keep going. Sorry, just sitting there for a moment. Yeah, yeah. I was like, not white, but <laughs> something. Did, did, but like, am I hearing? Am I hearing deals. exotic light? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was old Zach. I'm strictly white. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Learned his lesson. Yeah. yeah. So you made it all the way through it. I made it through seven eighths of a degree. Which is really stoked about. Which, if you do round, goes to zero. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just couldn't quite squeak that last semester out because, God forbid, I waited to move to LA. Oh my God! Wait, what 
possess you to move to LA then? Like reality television. Bitches. Reality television? Yeah. You were on a reality TV show? Thanks for the research. Next question. I I, <laughs> I did research. I know you have a lovely singing voice. That, right? Okay. That was, that okay, was, go ahead and that sing. Was the, that was the American that Idol? That was a reality TV show? I, yeah, I did the a show sing on, on it. Yeah. The Sing Off. Yeah. I remember watching that. You on there. <laughs> you, sang, you sang so off though. That's why you Ooh. got kicked off. Fortunately for that show, everyone sucks. Well, half people suck, so they just tune the fuck out of everything. So everything <gasps> sounds kind of good. Don't break the facade. Oh. The good thing about you guys is <laughs> oh, I want sorry. you. I I want to. I feel like we're at a good place where we're all friends now. Mm. And I only know you guys from your podcast. I've never seen a DIY video, and I've never seen you sing. So this is like, where you guys are just podcasters to me, and I think that makes us. More friends, or maybe you're like, oh, you didn't do any research. All right, <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys. Well, what it makes, what's great about this is that when you come on our podcast, we'll have a lot more prepared, mm -hmm. and we'll get. To oh, all please don't. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. gonna make us feel real bad. When I tell you guys, it took <laughs> twenty to thirty minutes to go. I got, I got the gist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And yeah. so far, I don't feel wildly unprepared. No, no. You guys could literally know our last names <laughs> when you come on our podcast. It'd be better be than us. Yeah. <laughs> if you put a gun to my head and ask me for either of their last names right now, I'm out. I can at least do that. So what are your goals and aspirations, boys? What are your goals and aspirations? Was really? that his effort at, at sarcasm? Was that? No, that was, no, no, that no, that no. He's so nervous. No. <laughs> <laughs> We've done 123 of these and he's so- He tried to throw that back in my face. No, right before you guys came on, he goes, I'm so nervous. I did. I did say <laughs> All right, like, let's, pause, let's stop it. What's the worst thing that could possibly happen right now? <laughs> the, we just sit in silence. <laughs> okay, so that's not happening. Yeah, exactly. So nothing to worry about. Also, no, I know. Like, uh, there's a guest, I haven't watched this episode yet, but I saw that you did an episode with a guest that we are going to bleep out his name in a second, but there's no way that it, this podcast would be harder than the one that you did with this. Oh, I hope you leave this in. Back on! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick little shit talking session oh. on camera. What's up guys? All right, the energy's back, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Who else do we hate Great. in LA? <laughs> I appreciate the prayer session, guys. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's no. what it was. Amen. Yeah. We're all children of God. Um, you had a really good question there, Jared. What was that? <laughs> Did he bite you? Fucking hell. Uh, okay. Actually, this is something I wanted to know. While I was doing research like on your videos, right? You went through, this is the last time we're going to bring it up. Uh, you went through a public breakup. Oh, hell, and then Jared. Uh -huh. You put out a video that uh, you said, you're like, I'm seeing somebody new. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then in that, you're like, um, I just want to let you guys know, but I'm not going to like post them really or anything. Like you'll probably uh -huh. see them around in Instagram stories. What made you kind of switch that up? So I think there's a big difference between having like a relationship, public vloggy type of relationship. Okay. Even the couples that do like the, the fake skits and pranks and shit like that. Like I think that you're sharing really intimate elements of your relationship that like creates like that parasocial relationship with fans. I think there's like, a lot of trauma that lives within that. But I think on a podcast, and this is great for you. <laughs> this is really great for you. I think this gives you a positive outlook here. But like, I think on a podcast and you're talking what about- What do you mean? <laughs> what could you possibly mean? Can we get a Zoloft <laughs> and a Prozac over uh, here? And a bullet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bourbon, rye, or not? <clears throat> Keep it going. But I think like on a podcast, when you're talking about shit that's like actually happened or true, you know what I mean? Like you're still telling the truth. So it's like, if we broke up tomorrow, like the stories from my high school that happened to me that are like funny or entertaining or whatever, like that doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Where it's like when you're creating borderline skittish content, like that's all very not that's super skittish great. skittish or skittish? Skit. Ish. Oh, skittish. Got it. Skit. Ish. Yeah, yeah. Not skittish. <laughs> Have you asked me the You're question? You're just very timid in but, all the videos. Yeah, you're just like super scared. <laughs> the difference between a podcast listener and someone who wants to be entertained in ten minutes with a short video are just night and, and day. And like a highlight oh, yeah. reel of your relationship as well too. Like those are two very very different viewers or listeners. I I but, don't understand why, but I look at the amount of time that people actually listen to our podcast. It's like mm -hmm. eighty to ninety percent are listening the whole fucking hour and a half. Oh my god. Which is. A little concerning for those people. Can we get some of those viewers? <laughs> Dude, guys, <laughs> what, what the hell? 30 seconds is not cutting it. <laughs> I know we suck, but all right. And listen, a views of you. Uh, I interrupted you. Well, you were gonna interrupt me and I didn't allow it. Oh, I was gonna <laughs> interrupt with, um, okay, so you started the podcast and that's maybe the first time they've gotten a real in-depth look at your guys' lives. How has maybe the fanship changed or how has it gotten maybe deeper? Have you noticed? Even, Cause you've been popular for a very long time, but how has it then thank even you. become- oh my God, thank you so much. Well, I've again, never seen a video, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but how has it maybe gotten deeper? I mean, I think 
a 10 minute video once a week is just on a totally different scale than like an hour and a half long podcast talking about the trauma of your life or the boner that you saw. <laughs> okay. Like you can't get more intimate than that. Yeah. You really 100%. can't. 100%. Yeah. Are you, um, do you like circumcised or uncircumcised? Uh, personally, I'm a circumcised kind of gal. Hey. Okay. But again, I've only seen hey. one, I've only seen one penis, so. Hey. <laughs> Hey. hey, um, I'm, I'm circumcised type of guy as well. Mm. Okay. And, and what I'm interested in. Yeah. 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 That's uh, Jared. hundred percent. Are you circumcised? Yeah. Okay. Yep. You'd yeah, be interested yep. in Jared. <laughs> Jared, get your penis out. <laughs> Would you be interested? <laughs> or are you uncircumcised? I'm, I like girls. Mm. <laughs> so no worries there. Um, all right. Good to know. I don't know how we got there. Uncirked or circed? Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm cut. My boy mm. made it out the hood like Eminem. Got it. Yeah. Wow. You know, there's a big movement around that right now. Yeah. Like a serious movement around. Yeah, you want to talk about it? Like people mutilating children's <sighs> wieners. Yeah, let's, let's talk about let's, non let's, yeah. yeah, a non-consensual wiener. Um, I gotta be honest, I have never wanted an extra layer of skin. You don't want the turtle? Thank you. That's what I've always. By the way, nothing against it. I'm just saying I have never missed that thing. No. Like the fact that the word smegma exists because of circum or uncircumcised penises, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I am glad. Okay, so personally, don't care if you want to be circumcised or not, but I think I would rather be circumcised, and I'm glad it was done when I can't. Now I can't remember it. Oh, I did it a couple of weeks ago, and I'm still pretty. How was it? Still fresh. It's fine. Do you well, do, do you, is that your latest DIY? Yeah, well, no, but, yeah. I got a scissor tattoo because I, I'm just a um, part time. Oh, I thought you got it for Jared's parents. Mm, My that's God. low. That's tough. Uh, <laughs> back to that good list of questions, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so far, the answers from them have been. Okay and fine. Yeah. So if yeah, you want to hit us with another one. And by the way, uh, just a salesman's tip, any question that can be answered with okay and fine, don't ask it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, where uh, where do you see your pot? Where are your goals and aspirations? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He asked the same question. He goes, all right. What is you didn't even answer the question about your goals and yeah. aspirations. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. We got to say that for your podcast. Ugh, We're going to ask point. better questions than that, to be honest. I sure hope so. I, so go yeah, ahead. Seriously. <laughs> um, well, I'm... I want to be primarily focused on YouTube. I mean, I love this podcast. I want to keep growing it and we have like a lot of fun ideas, but personally I want to do music um, and be like a producer and writer and stuff like that. So you produced the, um, the track I did see Wheel. banger. Thank you. Thank you. And I actually tonight I have a cover of Hey There Delilah that I did with uh, Toddy Smith. Um, oh. coming oh, out to tonight. That, right? Oh yeah. Seriously. Go stream it now. Oh, it's no, out. That wasn't, is it, is that on? On Spotify, right it'll now? be on Spotify in six hours. Wow! You got a timed release for Spotify? Yeah, of course. It's very difficult to do. Is it? Yeah, because DDX doesn't have that written into the code. You have to have that very customized. You do it through DistroKid? Did you do yeah, it? DistroKid. Yeah, the only ones to do that. You lost Zach. No way. No, I'm yeah. I'm reading questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, Zach, a distro. With, what are your goals and aspirations? Uh, Zach? Yeah, and I want to. I want to. Start you guys on, you, y'all ain't nerds. <laughs> oh no, I love Distro Child, Disco Child. <laughs> Distro Child. <laughs> Goes back to the uncle thing. Anyway, what? Um, no, my uncle, he stopped that. Okay, good. Yeah, he. Yeah. What's it like having an uncle? Anyway, well, literally, your uncle's an oral surgeon. Shut up. Hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's that. That is factual. Mine was just he didn't do the surgical part, but <laughs> he just, yeah. oh, just oral. God. <laughs> what? Guys, is she on. HR? Oh, who who does that? Oh, handsome. <laughs> Great. <laughs> looks at you with, he looks at you like, what What are the concerns today? Very good. Well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that has to stay <laughs> in. <laughs> if you guys, handsome's like, oh, I ruined the show. He's yeah, like, all right, throw yeah. it again. That's hilarious. That so now, so when, good, when everyone on, looking at that angle gets a slightly different <laughs> from the rest of the show, it was oh, not hard. exactly not my fault. That can't be the first time. Um, no, the first time, yeah. First time, yeah. Wow. Okay. He's throwing he's throwing it down without without the podcast being on, but this is good that it was live so people know that he's a terrible dog. Come here, handsome. <gasps> Just no. kidding. No. Just kidding. Dad, didn't mean Dad. Come here, Bubs. He, no, no, he's not gonna come. No, not with no, that. No, he's the most. Does his face always look so sad? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. But he's, I don't think he's sad. sad. That's no, adorable. I don't think so either. He's a very. He's a an expensive we dog. Took we him, know. We took him to the. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got money. Uh, we <laughs> took, we took him to the vet. Not as much as you guys. We took him to the vet, and he passed out on his back to get his shots done. Just fully fell asleep. Oh my god, our dog did that the other day too. Apparently, that's how you know a dog's happy. Yeah. Wow. And they are in a very stable home. Sounds like you guys have a good home. Oh. Right, come over sometime. Let's move on. Uh, our um, goals or aspirations are. Honestly, and this is the first time I think to a degree both of us would say this, like just kind of keep doing what we're doing, but a little better. Okay. Yeah. Which is a boring answer. But no. When you think about the rest of your life and you're like, I got to get to that next phase. And if I can only get there, we're not really feeling like that right now. 
at least mm. personally. Yeah. You might have a completely That's a different answer. Fantastic place to be in. Thank you, Jared. Yeah, no. Well, that was. And I was how gonna, do you think you could be better? Like one more inch. Uh, <laughs> would you say the same or? Would you rather have it be an inch taller or an inch longer dick? I saw this on a podcast the other day. Inch taller. Inch Definitely taller? inch taller. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I, I remember on the way to something, I think it was yesterday, Lauren was looking up Zach and she goes, holy shit. <laughs> Zach's only 5'10". He like, seems like he would be tall. Yeah, I, I, wait, me- <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, on the internet that? it says I'm 5'10". No way. I don't know why. How tall are you actually? 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, That's how you know it's six foot. <laughs> right, exactly. That's how no, it works on. I, she said that and I was like, I can't okay, wait but to that, bring that up. That makes me right But by the way, then, that makes can, me right. can't you edit that? That'd be the first, that'd be, yeah, the so only come here, I, that'd be the only thing I'm focused on, getting that Being five ten. Well, no, it's nice, because when people meet me in real life, they're like, wait, way taller than oh, I thought you were gonna be. It's like the anti-Pete Davidson. Yeah. But now everyone thinks he has like a I tell, I tell everybody I'm 5'9", so that when they meet me in real life, they're like, oh, 5'9 is really tall. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, five. They're like, I have no perception of length. <laughs> I was like, yep, that's how we do it. You take one more inch height. What about you, Jeremy? You seem like a tall lad. Uh, I don't need to be taller, but I think you would break up with me if my penis was an inch bigger. Do you see that subtle flex that he tried Whoa. to just like right there? Yeah. When you first saw his penis, were you like, oh, that's a good size one? Honestly, the first thing I ever said was like, wow, that's a really straight penis. <laughs> okay. Where, are you we, used to curves? We've had this conversation before. I feel like I always just kind of assumed that all dicks kind of had like a slight curve to them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Based on past history. Again, I've only seen one penis, but like based on past history, yeah. I always just assume that dicks all, kind, like the same way that like girls always have kind of like one boob that's a little bigger. Okay. I always just thought that dicks had like some, which way do you guys go? Left or right? I'm actually fairly like straight penis too. Wow. So I'm, I, I, I think I'm decently straight. I, I'm gonna have to go. Can you mind if I go look yeah, no, really fine. quick? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, and we're back. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> it's not. It's just she took gone. It with her. So perfectly straight. Mm. Yeah. And straight as an arrow. Uh-huh. And were, were you like, oh, that's aesthetically pleasing? Or were you like, I missed the curve, you know? Because that one no. Cardi B song, Captain Hook. Was it Cardi B? That's like that's a I, song. Someone I, made a song about the curve. Like, I like of it a with penis. a little bit of curve. Caught it, Captain Hook or something. That's a good line. It's a great line. Thank you. Um, so you were you enjoyed it? Being... It's it's a it's a good dick. Yeah. Did you draw it's a great, it for it's us? It's a great dick. Okay. Yeah. Here One more. And then, <laughs> and then what did you think of her labia? Mm. Holy shit, <laughs> Jared. Can you just the adults are talking right now, dude? Okay. This when is... I tell you that um, it's it's labia for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great answer. I mean that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a perfect answer. Was that on your was that on your question sheet? No, he just wanted to know what your future plans are. And so we yeah, got, and we somehow got, we started talking about um, straight dicks and, and labia. Labias. So yeah, that is correct. I, I, this is unfair, but how did you guys meet? We both moved to LA independently. We didn't know each other, and but we ended up moving into the same two bedroom apartment with ten guys, nine hundred square feet. <laughs> Wait, did you did you find it on Facebook Marketplace? No, I heard about it about this company. It was called Upstart Creative. I don't mm-hmm. know if they're still around, but they're like they were. Um, affordable housing for young creatives moving to LA, right? Because like- What year was this in? uh, I moved in 2019. I want to meet affordable housing for young creative seat filler versions of you guys so fucking bad. Wait, this is only in 2019 you live with 10 dudes in a two bedroom. Yeah. 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 Guys, that's pretty quick fucking come up. Uh, thank you. But you're also uh, like 23 years old. So. <laughs> and then we moved and we had six people in here at one point and now it's just us and now we just got our own house. So yeah. We're, and we're, that's so, gonna, what's, what's the address? Did you see that he said is. all that and didn't even smile? You're right. You are a sociopath a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't <laughs> feel happiness. You almost happiness. look sad about it. Because like, it's you, like, oh, I thought this would make me actually feel better about my life. Well, no, you see a lot of people that are dead on the inside, but you're dead on the outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually just makeup hiding his like rotting flesh. Game of Thrones yeah. or it's like House of Dragon rotting flesh or? Should yeah. I try to be more like... Yeah, you got to be a little more bubbly. That was almost like a know? little weird. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't go like back, it either. No, the whole like you're not built for smiling thing. Yeah. That actually yeah. has a different connotation. That checks and out. I understand now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I feel like if I smile, that's when it's like really sociopath mm. starts to come out. It's like, oh, that guy might murder me or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Like you'll reach to the phone and grab um, but Yeah, we're really killing it. As, as far as, uh, <laughs> oh my God. As far as our uh, upward trajectory, dude, it's going to be great. It's going to be a sick year. Yeah. We're going to be famous and stuff. Um, what was the question? Yeah, we lived with a lot of people. We were very poor, ate the same food How for many a few bathrooms? years. Uh, two bathrooms. Two, one. but one of them we kind of deemed unusable. Because our um, our roommate would clap his boyfriend's cheeks in there and we'd hear it and then he'd leave used condoms all over Ew. the bathroom. And like there was some sort of mold like growing in there. But it none of us just... knew each other when we moved in. The yeah. glorified hostel, like he said. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. This but... is good reality TV. Yeah, that's a, that's a reality show right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are just... you friends with any of them still? Or um, is it just you I know guys that Jared. made it out? Mm. I know Zach. Um, what was rent? Uh, $600 each. It was, Shut the yeah. no. No. Yeah. 
I got to be honest. 500. That's offensive. No. What? 500. No, 600. It was 600. I was paying 550. No one knew. I thought you were going to say fucking $150. There's no, no, no it way. It was 600 because he had a cheaper rate than I did and had a parking spot. Yeah. I was so mad when I found that out. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. I am a master manipulator when it comes to parking spots, but only that um, and women. Um, <laughs> But yeah, well, so we lived there for a while, did the thing, eventually moved in here. We had six people in here, eventually one after one left. Um, and now it's just Jared and I and yeah. Handsome. And handsome. And handsome. And, handsome. and a boy. And a boy. Well, congrats on the house. Thank Thanks you so much. Are you yeah. guys going to come over and stay no. there for the rest of your life? No. All right. Whose credit what? check made it happen? Oh, Both definitely mine. Well, mine too, dude. I'm close to 800. You're a little over guys, 800. Guys, let's talk about this. Was it yours? Well, it was my bank account, your credit score. He faked his bank account. Oh, yeah, I did do that. By the way, <laughs> whatever gets it done. No, exactly. It's more difficult to fake a I fake. I faked my bank account score. to get in here. I faked my bank account that it had $3,000 in it to get in here initially, like three years ago. You faked that you had $3,000? I had $3,000. I was like, oh, that'll be you a lot. You went with a really, yeah. just like, no one would suspect. It, yeah, it it was, like, no one's going to double check that. And, so, <laughs> and I was so nervous. I was like, oh, no, they're going to, like, this is a lot of, because to me, that was a lot of money. At the he time. went with one month's rent. Yeah. <laughs> in his bank account. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that'll cut like, it. That'll do it. <laughs> but we had six of us. So we just had to, you know. We Usually just, you have to show two and a half times yeah. that first run. But th by the way, that's I'm great that worked out for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Somehow. It seems very genuine. Well, I think it worked out for you. I don't know if you're being kicked out of here or if you're moving on your own accord. And that's not something that you guys need to talk about. No, we'll talk about it. <laughs> we're getting kicked out. Okay. <laughs> no, we're kidding. Um, no, let's. God, we, Jared, they flipped it on us. They flipped yeah, us no. over and they. Oh, wait. Jeremy, where are you from? Yeah, Rockford, originally. Illinois. Rockford, Illinois. When, okay. when did you move to LA? Uh, 2000 and uh, 2013, 2014. Okay. Yeah. What did you initially come out here for? Bitches. <laughs> oh. Bitches. Um, and then you, you found one. I'm I'm a later bitch. Oh. No, no, oh, no. How no, many no, has no. he had before you? You are. So bitches. No. Oh, my so God. Bitches. Do you say him at like parties and stuff? Or like, ugh. Any, when you ever, whenever you run into a half Asian girl, you're like. Oh, kink. This is the first Asian girl I've ever hooked up with. Uh, <laughs> Not even dated. You said hooked up, hooked up with. Uh, <laughs> this is a four-year uh, hookup. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's like kind of what your mom thinks that we're not married and have kids. Like it's just a hookup at this point. <laughs> Basically. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Gail would like uh, less contraception. There, and your mom's yeah. not single, right? No, <sighs> no. Um, I moved out here for a reality TV show, but then stayed mm -hmm. for the most part. It was it was there was girl related. Yeah, I think if there wasn't a girl there, I would have finished that one semester of college. Yeah, but I just couldn't bring myself to do that. How is she doing now? She has a child. Not with you, I assume. Uh, well, I don't know that, but I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> what about you, Lauren? Does the child look like him? Uh, How often do you look at his maybe ex's profiles and things of that nature? Um, so her pregnancy announcement came up my For You page. Oh, Ooh. good. Yeah. Is she an influencer of types? Yeah. <sighs> I'll let you go down that rabbit hole later on by yourself. <laughs> Andrea Russet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's the first person that came to mind. <laughs> It's only weird because it's like not correct, but like I mean, there'd, there'd be a, we a way that someone be like, "I knew it." That's the six the degrees of separation, be like, "Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah that's okay. her." Um, okay. What about have you, have you ever heard of any of her exes? I we've no. already talked about this. I'm the first guy she's literally she's, ever been yeah, with. ever ever seen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Zach. But yeah, so it's got to be hard. So, what? What? Well, just it's got to be hard, you know, breaking up and then, and then they're just on your for you page. It's like you, you try to get rid of them in any way you can, and then just and then the internet algorithm shows them to you. You have mm. no fucking idea. I feel like my past boyfriends. Again, I've only been one person, but past boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, I like have always managed to like break up and never like run into them again. And like you know, when they're not on social media, you just like don't follow each other anymore, and that's kind of like the end of it. And mm -hmm. you can like have a clean break. When you're both on the internet, that's not possible. Especially. <laughs> Have you gotten a comment? Have you? When's the last day you've gone like two days without getting a comment about a past relationship? Haven't. It's wow. Yeah, it's got to be tough because it's impressive. Like, there's there's going to be bots out there that will tweet some random comment about everything. Apparently, forever. Not it's it's TikTok actually. It's TikTok that I get mm. the most comments. Oh, so TikTok is like the bane of your well, existence it's, it's, right now. TikTok is like the back of the bus when it comes to like <laughs> the, like those kids that oh, are just I like lost, I lost a. Uh, oh, oh, handsome's handsome. gone. <laughs> you guys have like the like <laughs> most. Fucking janky headphone yeah, system. Like you work in music, and this is okay. like Mr. Tax write off over here with nine. Like these are all 
I know how much these cameras cost. Thirteen hundred dollars, thirteen hundred dollars, thirteen hundred dollars, thirteen hundred thirty. The lenses are like like four or five hundred bucks, and you have seven dollar like <laughs> Corbell fucking like uh, like cables. Yeah, hundred <laughs> one split. Handsome. He's back. <laughs> Wait, I did. Okay, Jared, I didn't know this about the cables. What? All right, I thought we were over here with great cables. <laughs> no. Why did you do that, <laughs> no. my guy? What? Mogami or nothing? Yeah, or origami or nothing. Write it down. Yeah. <laughs> or does your mom know anything about that or any of your lineage? <laughs> so sorry. This is Jeremy's white mom favorite thing to like ask me about very specific Asian things yeah. really? or being like, oh, your mom would love this. And it's all with like the best intentions. I'm sure they say oriental a lot. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you have no yeah. idea. Like she a rug, she dropped like the big, a rug. The big O the first time I like referenced that like my girlfriend wasn't all white. She was like, oh. oh so pretty for an oriental girl. That's not what she said. Oh, oh, my no. God. That's not what she said. Re correct yourself for Donna's. What was it? It was handsome. Um, I think it was oriental girls are so pretty. Yep. Okay, that's general. better, way so, better. So it wasn't actually a compliment to her. No. It no, was, no, no, it was just a general. It's like normally they're pretty. It was an observation <laughs> on yeah. what rugs typically look like. Exactly. Okay. Um, how do you, how did you feel about that? Um, not the first white guy you've dated. Yeah, not the first white guy I've dated. First. But favorite white First guy like dated. Midwest white guy with like a white mom who leans Republican that I've dated. I don't know. Nobody asked about. <laughs> <laughs> nobody asked about political stance. Yeah, nobody I just, asked I, just, I, just, I just assumed that like Oriental, you know. Like, anyway, yeah. no, um, no, 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 that adds up. Yeah, yeah. So that's right. I'm tracking. Um, what was your question? Why? Why do you hate Republicans? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, How much did you donate to MAGA? Um, yeah. So what are you guys? Just, um, you voted for Biden? No. Oh, <laughs> did you see the clip of the the stand up? where like some heckler in the crowd was like, yes. you voted for Biden, didn't you? And they're like, why, why is that is even relevant? Is that just relevant? Matt Reif? What? That was Matt. No, 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 he was oh. making a, a joke about that situation. It was oh. a woman in New Jersey. I saw that you one. You saw on that TikTok, one? Yeah. And then they threw a beer can at her, like at her on stage, it almost hits her. Yeah. But then like a fucking boss, she picks it up and chugs the rest of it. It was iconic. That's fantastic. Uh, so how much was the house you guys bought? Oh, we didn't buy. <laughs> no. We're not doing we're that well. Renting. Oh. We're not doing DIY well. Oh. We're doing two guys on a podcast that sometimes break 100,000 views well, oh. okay? Oh. We're not doing I saw, great. I mean, you could put a down payment with how many cameras you guys have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We should get rid of four cameras and then, and then get a house. If you went get back to Nevada, this would be a mansion. We've if, listen. Yeah. We've talked about it. His family lives in uh, Vegas. That's why I brought that up. Yeah. Oh, you did. Oh. How much That's how I found out that you find we're five ten because I googled where you were from. Okay, because you were wearing Kentucky sweaters. Why do you wear Kentucky sweaters? Um, my dad's side of the family is from Kentucky, and I am a cold, hard, dark. Kentucky fan. I don't know how to say it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Dark. dark. Yeah, dark. Yeah, Where is weird? It? Cold, okay. hard, dark. Well, I'm just my soul is. <laughs> Got it. Wow, they did so much research. Yeah, I know. This really ticks me off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the thing is, I went to University of Kentucky. You did? Yeah. We have so much Kentucky. Wait, gear is that in our a house? lie or no? No, no. My scholarship was to play drum set for when that guy won the series. Oh hell yeah! I uh, yeah, that's that was my uh, Christmas present. No, birthday present this year for my mom. She's like. I got you with Anthony Davis. I thought it was sweet, yeah. um, but no, we're gonna huge go. Huge penis, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna go. Huge penis. I couldn't even. Imagine. I had friends hooked up with him. Yeah, they were like, it's a, no. it's, it is gargantuan. Really? Yeah, allegedly. Oh, could you? Imagine? I heard Devin Booker had a 14 inch penis. Uh, I feel like his pictures got leaked, didn't they? And that's Wait, how you went to Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, I got into Kentucky, but I came out here instead. That's the dumbest thing you ever Aww. did. I should have gone out there. Wait, we're going to interview uh, John Calipari in December. Get fucked. Yeah, on our podcast. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. Why? Okay, who's booking your fucking guests? Uh, I just meet people and I say hi. Jesus. Yeah, yeah so like once again, I'm available. Uh, <laughs> so let's just talk about Kentucky. Oh, fuck, this is this should have been our podcast. I love Kentucky. Fine. I had the weirdest scholarship because I got played. I got paid to play music at the home and away games. So they would fly us out ahead of all the fucking basketball games to play at the alumni and everything else before oh, games. that's sick. And I was like, you were like flying private to all the fucking coolest things. And every teacher was like, oh, it's Kentucky. Don't worry about your homework. It no was way. fucking amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. Just, that I was just be... at Tennessee last weekend for the game. You were? Yeah. Oh fuck. And it, yeah, it was tough. But yeah. was, and then I was at Florida for the other game. But yeah. they, they put on a fucking I travel. show. Oh, Tennessee puts on a show. So you, you, you fought at Kentucky games. Yeah. I love Kentucky. It's my, we right. flew to Stop Georgia. Stop the podcast right now. This is actually gonna be a friendship. Just fuck the podcast. <laughs> no one wants to go to Kentucky games with me. We oh, you can come with us. Oh, we have season tickets for football. Yeah, you can come with us. Uh, but I've been going to the away games because I've never been in Knoxville, never been in Gainesville. No, that, that's what I'm thinking. Because like yeah. Kentucky's great, and yeah. like, I do want to get into it. But going to the away games, it's like SEC is just a fucking 
Tennessee put on a fucking show. Yeah, it was incredible. On the field and off. No, we... Yeah, it was wild. We we were like nine rows up on the fifty yard line, and it was like one of the most beautiful experiences. You said that real had. slow and just yeah, and just were, unzip yeah. your zipper while you say it. Yeah, fifty great. yard line. See, that's what I need. To, see, that I don't. I want to talk more about Kentucky. No, we will. <laughs> we will on our our side. It's fine. We'll ask okay. real questions. Okay, good. Back good, to my good. goals and aspirations. You're literally like <laughs> pain, pain right no, now. I, would, okay, I love it. This so is the much. last thing. The reason that I the, the show that I was on on NBC. Uh huh. I was singing in a group. That was from Kentucky. Like think what? pitch, think pitch perfect. Yeah, it was I love acapella. pitch perfect. We were fucking flown out to LA to sing on a show, and it was Kentucky's group. Like it was from the university. Oh, so you guys oh were my God. wow, literally pitch perfect. Yeah, so like it was Kentucky, so like you know a bunch of singers. So not only half. Actually, at the time, nobody was out of the closet. Now <laughs> it's a little bit different. Yeah, in fact, really? I don't think there are any straight guys in that 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 group anymore, including you. Yeah. Anyway, is this when you're going to tell, anyway. is this when you're gonna tell her? Can you imagine it was like, and now's the time. And now is the time. It's like, wow, yeah, four years down the road. <laughs> not to on change the, the subject, the but is that a replica of Iron Man? Iron Man right now? Yeah, it opens up and does all the jazz. So you guys like are oddly- um, See, you could have a house if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, are what I would be- We just be. don't prioritize what we buy. <laughs> yeah, it's a tax write off. <laughs> um, <laughs> so is, yeah. I look at the IRS, and so like one replica of an iron- <laughs> Why do you need this? <laughs> set decor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything exactly. is, oh, we have realized everything is set decor. <laughs> yeah, of course. And this is the part where your IRS agent reads us back, but like out of context in the courtroom, we realized everything <laughs> was set decor. And you go, I did. Handsome has been in a video. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. He, he's 100% a right, yeah. right yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, but no, we have a lot to, we have a lot to chat about. But okay, but, so did you just pick up on the Kentucky fandom because he was no, in love with it? No, I'm born and raised in Cincinnati and most right. of, uh, so my he family about it. Okay, I don't watch college ball like well, basketball. Like Cincinnati or wouldn't be something you would watch. No, okay, uh, you're anyway. only there for fucking six minutes. You're like, oh, college girls, gross. I'm gonna get to L. A. <laughs> and live with fucking. No, they said that dudes. to him. Well, I was. Yeah, trying he was to be trying nice. to give me the benefit yeah. of the doubt, it's you know. Okay. Uh, but most of my family's from Kentucky and Park. like um, northern Kentucky, like uh, Covington. Yeah, Covington and yep. stuff, Erlanger and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, Obviously, and everyone on this podcast, of course, has heard these things. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Florence, my granny's from the Corvus. Florence. Florence I had an ex-girlfriend from Florence. Did you really? Stop. Ooh, she's yeah. right there. <laughs> okay. Well, the difference between Lauren and I is that she knows that she's my second girlfriend, and I know that I'm her first girlfriend. Mm. Yeah. Well, Beautiful. whatever. It's all about understandings. I almost went to Cincinnati Conservator of Music. That's where I went. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. And then I realized that's a stupid idea. Why? Well, one, it's. $45,000 a year. Okay, you well, that I got, no, I got scholarships. Kentucky, say, oh you're also me. out of state. Right, but Kentucky In gave state me- state is grossly- okay, Out of state of, at Kentucky was 16 grand. And between my singing and percussion scholarships, I got 15 grand to go. Out of state at Kentucky was 16 was. grand? Oh, it was. It was. Now they've got new dorms and shit. And like, okay, like I was gonna have, say. They're wearing shoes and like only fuck half their sisters. So it's like, it's <laughs> things have gotten a little bit, you know, advanced now. My sister's mm -hmm. coochie's so good though. Well. That's, there's that. All right, so you love Kentucky. So is your drink of choice whiskey? Ooh. Okay, here we go. So this is a thing about me. Um, alcoholism runs rampant in my family. So I didn't you know, ask about alcohol. So, no, no, well, I'm going to tell you. All right? I didn't ask so, you were a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, go ahead and trauma jump on us for no reason. Jared tells one joke in six years and thinks he's done something. <laughs> um, okay, so the thing is, it does run rampant. And, and sometimes... It it, 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 um, I don't drink. Pretty much just drink water and lemonade. Have you ever thought about like how good alcohol is? Wait, though? that's so wholesome. Maybe water and lemonade. I might, love a good lemonade. Might be worth it. That's so wholesome. I'm, 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 don't I, fall for it, or so, so So if we went to Kentucky, so you've never been to the Bourbon Trail. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that are staples of that state that I have not done. There's three things that matter in Kentucky: bourbon, basketball, Jesus. You are cutting out the first one and the Derby. Right, but that's kind of assumed the as derby. like that's where Jesus time with is. Jesus. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where everybody's God. praying at the derby. Yeah. Oh, hands like sanctuary. Your bone? Okay. Well, there's an awkward question that we can just sit and relive next time we watch the podcast come out. Mm -hmm. Why don't you like liquor? Because everyone in my family has suffered with alcoholism. <laughs> next. Yeah, and some sometimes drug problems, mm. sometimes um, cheating on women. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna. I try not to do any of those things. What about any any of your parents cheat on? That we haven't had the conversation because I've never really talked to them, but. What about you? I thought you talked to him a little bit. Eh. We literally have them on Facebook. Jeremy's favorite thing is to like make his, like he always like loves to say that he was adopted out of um, uh, a dumpster, like a behind used, it a It was a dirty dumpster. Where it's like, <laughs> he no church. had like the most wholesome, like his, his, 
mother is adorable. He mm. also grew up on like the most beautiful street. He he told me that we were going oh, to like tell a, the skin color. really yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. He prepared me for a really rough. If really, everyone really wants to look up area. Rockford, Illinois, and type in Forbes as a keyword, you will find that it continues to be on the worst and most miserable city to live in in the nation almost every year. There's a computer right and there. And then so I'm go. gonna I'm gonna give you Jeremy's home address. You can also Google and find the home. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Huh. This says how Rockford, Illinois is reinventing itself. Oh, God. I agree. Damn it. <laughs> okay, it's, so it's, somebody well. paid, it's so on the up and up. That's obviously yeah. like, a, like a, one of like the up and like but you could pay for Forbes writers. The fact that they have to reinvent themselves says a lot, though, about why would, why would you reinvent yourself if you're already doing well? Well, Madonna probably has an opinion on that. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys have any women in your lives? That, are, that hmm. like boys that smile a lot because this guy's been striking out recently. I don't know. I mean, look Jared, at him. Are you on the apps? Huh? Are you on the apps? I am on the apps. I don't typically like them. You know, sometimes I just go to see like what's out there, you know, but I have never really had any success from them. That's because you break up with every girl you've ever been with. After Holy hell. Do it. You want to? Okay. Real, this is getting are, you a, are you a serial breakupper? No. Oh, no, Jared I'm, is. Oh no, my I'm not. Gosh, he is. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not and the weird thing is, um, okay, Whoop. for whatever reason, <laughs> when, when, a girl finally fancies him. I mean, they go in deep. They're like, You're, I have never loved anyone like you. Oh my God. You gosh. seem like you would like serenade. Are you like all oh, in when, well, you're, when you. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like he treats them like better than you could ever treat a woman in their entire that's, lives. See, that's your problem. And that's then, no, but then he just cuts it off. <gasps> no, but there are reasons. And you but they know don't the see reasons. It, but they don't see it coming. Do you, are you a love bomber? What is that? What is a love bomber? Like you like you like uh, present like you just like dump love on them. Yes. Oh, 100%. And then they fall in love with you and then they get his crazy in, and then you entire... get scared and you dip. Is that what happens? It, yes. Oh, is that the cycle? His entire right arm oh is all about love. So he'll show me like, this love, is how much I love I love. I love love. But no, there are reasons that I have I've broken up with a few women recently. Not not recently as in like a month you or whatever, give shout but out? also, yes. There's nothing more telling than the look on a, your assistant's face to kind of check it just how <laughs> yeah. she's Alyssa, like, Alyssa, are you telling on me right I'm now? not kidding. I just read it all through her eyes. Yeah. Oh my God, you, Jared, yeah. you're a love bomber. You're a love bomber. I didn't know there was I a didn't term. know there was a term By the way, for that. That's a song right there. Yeah, thank I'm you for that. Love bomb. Is it country? <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, we've got a producer. We've got a singer. We've got, um, you can make the album art. And she makes great cover art. See, I do make pretty good. Yeah, I can I can Photoshop a thing or two. Perfect. We got we got the whole. I'll walk handsome while you guys are all doing this. Mm. Get, well, the, get the get the coffee. Someone needs to do the yeah. woe on TikTok. Yeah, exactly. Got it. So that was a really sad story. Thanks, guys. Damn, I know. Way to way to really bring it down. And I'll just button on that. I loved the apps. They were great to me. I, I yeah. I clearly I can tell. Hinge. So we reconnect. So we we kind of like. Uh, adjacently worked together in the past, um, engaged, different relationship. Worked together how? Because I've always heard you guys say that. You're like, we work together, but I didn't understand where your paths intersected. Do you remember the era of like the roast yourself raps on YouTube? I watched yours, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut to it. So a that's okay. <laughs> Please do, we'll, then we'll monetize this, it's great. Yeah, exactly, that thing still prints money. Yeah. Um. So. Because that was like a huge era and people wanted it on like Spotify and iTunes, his old job was- We did STEM, so we did distribution for independent artists, which okay. is why I you know the whole DDX and distro kid nerd and thing. And I am an independent artist. Which <laughs> means that I was able to see what her CPM was uh -huh. ahead of time. And I was Hot. like, holy oh, yeah. shit. Let's get in I'm there. Huh? In early. This chick has Procter & Gamble by the newts. <laughs> I, wow. lost, I lost those brain deals when I started talking wait, about boners. Wait, Jared just got horny. My when mom just said that. My yep, mom worked go. for uh, PNG for Out of 35 Cincinnati? years. Yeah, 35 years. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People she's, don't realize she's the reason you're rich. I know. Right wow. there next to Lockheed. It is. Yeah. And yeah, that's how you guys met. You. I know there were lesbians in Cincinnati too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at, yeah. at least. Yeah. And they and Jared didn't get beat up once for it, did you? <laughs> No, never, I, oh never God. had that interaction. Well, it's good. You wear it with pride now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like the Joker, just painting a smile on his face. It's, yeah. Why so serious, you know? Oh man. So anyway, so he worked at STEM. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he did like the distribution deal for my management company. So like we definitely like, exchanged emails. He mostly talked to my assistant on the phone, but she we thought I was wildly gay. I thought he was gay. Look at that hair. Are you kidding? 
it's, it's too so perfect. it's too perfect. It's too good. And then he said, "Oh, something about my fiance," and I was like, "What's his name?" Yeah. <laughs> And uh, then whatever, that was kind of like the end of that. And he introduced himself to me at VidCon, maybe like a year and a half Oddly enough, later? not that far before right. we were actually gonna meet. Because you were single, but I was not. Yep, I was fucking. You were mm. fucking. <laughs> fucking his way through the apps. Could, I gotta take some pointers could from be, him. Could be you, Are you a jealous type? Do you think about all the times he's been inside? Or, 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 or do you like think, or do you like, are you able to turn that off in your brain? I don't okay. care. Okay, Warren good. actually has wildly confident to the point where I'm like, sometimes I think you actually, no, I actually believe you might be just more confident than me, hands down. Cause she really does block that out. She's like, no. <laughs> Here's the thing he though, leave my ass. I would be more insecure about a guy who's only slept with one girl and is like, oh, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. But I'm like, if you've only had one labia- How would you know? How would you know? No, exactly. But it's like, if you've had all the labias and you chose mine, I'm like, that's a, that's a pretty- That's, that's an honor. Compliment. Yeah, that's an honor. You've been to the labia luau, Hit the you? clip for the labia for me. And that's this what brings I tell you to our sponsor today, labias. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you have yours tattooed? <laughs> oh God, I've been with some women. Okay, and so then going. we, I had my super fun traumatic internet breakup. Okay. And a few months later I got on the apps. I was like, I'm about to fuck my way through LA. It's like, I'm gonna be single. I'm a serial dater. It's mm. not a great habit and it keeps happening by accident. Here we are again. And- Shout out um, me. <laughs> Shout out me. When I got on the apps, my goal was to like, kind of just go on dates people that I like knew kind of, or like had a mutual friend with, so like I wasn't gonna get killed like right yeah, on my yeah. first month on the apps. Like oh, a mutual this friend. nice gay man, I'll go out with him. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's like, that's Jeremy from STEM. I was like, oh. it's like, and then I did a little lurk it's and I was like, Jeremy oh, <laughs> not engaged anymore. Interesting, okay. And so then I messaged him on Hinge. He received the message. What was your message? Oh, wait, no, actually. Uh, uh, what was the message? He ah, from, ah, hang on, ah, hang on. Ah, <laughs> fucking rein it in. So he saw me on Raya first. Mm. Oh, fancy. Message me on Instagram. Okay. No one uses Raya. You don't no, use, you don't message like on you Raya. Don't go, you don't actually hit somebody up on Raya because no. you want to go on a date. Yeah. No, no, no. It's no. just like, oh, I'm on Raya. Saw me on Raya, saw that I was single, messaged me on Instagram. I missed it on Instagram. I mm. saw him on Hinge, messaged him on Hinge. So she messaged first. I messaged mm. first. And what'd you say? Hey, friend. That's how, that's the opener <laughs> was hey, friend. I hadn't been single in so long. You hit it, him with friend. <laughs> Was Looking it? back and knowing that she thought I was gay. <laughs> now I see. I'm like, hey, just, gay bestie. <laughs> hey friend, you have your settings wrong. <laughs> was that the first guy that you'd hit up on the apps? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh that's news <laughs> to him. <laughs> so you were able to have a little fun of your own. Um, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good to know. I, w I was planning on being a hoe though. <laughs> okay, we got You were it. planning we on being a hoe. We got a fix. Yeah, oh. oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's funny because the, the thing that I actually wanted to make sure when I started to catch feels was like, have you fucked someone new and your ex again since breaking up? Because I need you to. Because there's no world where anybody goes from a four year relationship, breaks up, and doesn't need one more. Oh, okay. One more round. I get that. One and two, a new, new round with somebody new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more, no less, of course. But I do need those things. I was like, I, I asked, and you were like, a little too quick with the, oh yeah, I've done those things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did in fact check the boxes. Like, oh, they put it, they yeah. put it down all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very it's good. good. And I was like, okay, that's that. I, it's good to know. Like, It's fair. Checked. I asked for it and you gave me the answer, yeah. honestly. Um, don't like how fast it was. That's okay. But and then she ran into one of the girls that I, I, I guess was a little bit Asian that I'd hooked up with in the past. A little, a bit, little Asian. bit Asian. <laughs> Asian yeah. adjacent. I didn't notice that the first time around and you did point it out that you're like, oh, look at that. Well, cause I was like, we somehow came on the conversation of like, oh, like have you ever been with an Asian? And mm. I- uh, Classic first date question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I looked at Jerry her said, and no. honestly said, no, I don't, I don't, yeah. I can't recall at this point in time. And so we were out and he had told me a story about a roommate's friend or a friend's, a friend's roommate. roommate who happened to be of Asian descent. No, 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 no. But the story that I had been told was about the friend's roommate. And so when I met the friend's roommate and she happened to be Asian, I was like, oh, so you have a friend Asian. <laughs> How interesting. Yeah. You wanted to be the first one. Uh, it wasn't necessarily be, I was just curious. Okay, okay, But then okay. I was like, oh, so you don't remember the she girls that you said, I was just curious. It's <laughs> kind of like, I was like, it's funny. Uh, and then anything that comes after that, not funny. Never funny. <laughs> not never funny. funny. No. Uh, you fucked an Asian? Um, Jared, what are you? <laughs> 
How do you? Cincinnati. No. <laughs> no. Not even uh, legal there yet. No, 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 no. It's They've never seen one in Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, no. They're no, like, no. what is that? Um, that's not one of us. Like in Ohio, and Cincinnati's in this weird place where it's like way too north to have as many southern accents as they have. Oh, okay. yeah. It's very 100%. weird. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what is going on here? Like Texas is far away. And they like really, <laughs> they like really bad chili. Oh, I'm what is gonna, it? Uh, gonna, Skyline. Skyline. Skyline, yeah. I'm yeah. going to fight you on this so hard. I love that. That chili like runs through my blood. Okay. It's hot. Do you just have like uh, what You're cultural gonna... foods like from your place? Jared, do you like, like meatloaf? Don't say, don't say chili is your meatloaf. culture, Jared. First you off. Lo- you, you like think? meatloaf? Love meatloaf. He looks no. like his nickname would be meatloaf in middle school. <laughs> Okay, Come on. Meatloaf was a great musician. Rest in peace. Thank you very much. <laughs> be a great dog name. Oh, that would be a good dog name. Yeah. Isn't that right, Meatloaf? Yeah. Oh! oh. You have to rename him. Just, you're kidding me? Like, he doesn't respond to his name, but when you say Meatloaf. Is that right, handsome? <laughs> Dude, you oh. didn't give two. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jared, you had a list of questions. That's our bad. Go ahead. Get back to those. Yeah, right. rapid fire those off. I hate, uh, I hate He's this. like, <gasps> how old are you guys? <laughs> What's your star sign? I've never been fishing. <laughs> what is your star sign? Uh, I'm a Leo. Do you guys follow that? Do you no. follow Aquarius. Next question. <laughs> no. Okay. Zach, take it away. No, Jared, just hit him Jesus, with your question. Jesus, guys. We've gone through a lot of these, actually, without me having to ask Just them. rapid fire him. Give them to him. All right, we have a game. You want to do the game, Alyssa? Of course, Jared no. has it. Jared will never be able to get through this. <laughs> Wait, what was the game? Oh. Exactly. Is it wild or tame? Is that what it was? Is that the game? You guys know how to make a girl feel special. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We have a game. Oh. Ooh. I love a game. We I love love games. Um, it's called Wild or Tame based off of your podcast title, Wild Till Nine. I don't know if you guys Ooh. know it, but that's it. Okay. Um, where I'm going to read some statements and you're going to say whether these statements are wild or tame. You know, Ooh, we're going to okay. have a little discussion about it. Okay. Wild or tame. Okay. So this person says, uh, one day she broke up with me out of the blue. I think a lot of these are re- relationship based. One day she broke up with me out of the blue. She legit said, I had a dream and Jesus told me you're not the one. Uh, is that, would you say that's something wild to do? Or is that like pretty tame? Like that's kind of normal. I think it depends like how chilling you are with, with Jesus. With no, that's Big all, J. that's yeah. all tame. That's, I don't care what tame, that, tame, tame. People use religion as excuses. A lot of people, a lot of so times. Yeah. yeah. Pretty tame, handsome, but <laughs> <it's, laughs> if you guys hear a slight squeak in the back, are you telling me that's not what the audio listener wants to hear? <laughs> <laughs> that's see our, our dogs aren't like, or our dog isn't like yours where they just chill. They sit in your lap, you know, and they're all cute well, and cuddly. Well, we, we we've, we've cut some stuff out. Oh, okay. <laughs> just okay. chaos. One, one about bit the other one's face off in the middle of it. They're like, yeah, we'll cut that from the pod. Uh-huh. <laughs> all in good fun. The Hans- 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 has a resting drunk face <laughs> where he's just like on a bender. You guys make a dynamic duo together. Oh yeah, we're a good, we're a good team. Yeah, no, like, like I think antidepressant ads are in your future. <laughs> yeah, well- Love a good SSRI. <laughs> a what? What's your favorite pill you've ever been on? Effexor. Adderall. What is Effexor? It's an SNRI. What, what does is, that mean? What is that? Yeah. So SSRI is a serotonin oh inhibitor. Inhibitor. What? A serotonin. What? I thought serotonin SSRI. was good. So you've been sad before? I lied. Molly. Molly's the best Molly. one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought serotonin was good though. It is what? good. Yeah, yeah, you want you want serotonin, but it's gotta be all balanced with like your dopamine and your other levels and stuff. Oh, okay. It's like gotcha. sex is good, but not with kids. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. There's gotta be limits and boundaries and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I got more of a nod out of that that <laughs> statement than anything in this podcast. <laughs> like he is full, he's in the podcast now. Like, goes, all right, I'm on fucking I'm board. Locked in. Yeah. I am locked and loaded. All right, this next one. Uh, this was a long distance relationship. Instead of breaking Lame. up with me, he pretended to die and then texted oh, me wait. as his brother no. to blame me. <laughs> That's yeah. I want to know who this is because this guy has a job in sales with me for the rest of his career. <laughs> that guy is willing to go the fucking distance. You're hired. Well, I, not not long distance, but he's willing to go a distance. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty fucking wild. That's pretty wild. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Wild. Does that even so. work in the internet day anymore? Like you, you legitimately he'd, would just have to, have to disappear. Go off the grid. Yeah. yeah. To to like really commit mm-hmm. to that, you'd have to commit to going off the grid. Yeah. And like just sort of like you going off to like the military and be like, I just don't want to talk to this girl anymore. Mm-hmm. And you just take over. You just take over. You'd like this person would just need to take over. Oh, By yeah, the way, yeah, yeah. does the brother come in and then maybe offer his services? That's what I'm wondering. Like, where does the brother come into this? Yeah. You know, like is he is he on board? Does he know about it? Right. You well, know? I guess he actually doesn't exist because he pretended to be the brother. Who's lifting twenties over here? 
Sup? <laughs> I was waiting for you guys to ask a question around here. It's me, dude. Woo! I wake up every morning, pump Pumps. out a quick seven reppies, and I head seven reps. I head head first in my day like it's Normandy, baby girl. I'm out here. Bop, 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 bop. It was a joke about the war. Anyway. Woo! Oh my god. All right. Um, he pretended to be in danger and die from a gunshot. He called me acting as if he was running, got shot, and died on the phone. Hot. I was shocked, Role not going to lie, but the next day I saw him, he disappeared. The next day I saw he disappeared from my friends list. I logged into my old alt account, and he was posting photos alt of right him account? with his new girlfriend. Mm, 4chan. Yeah. So he didn't commit to going off grid. No, 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 no. That's wild because he's just fucking stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The only thing he did was block her main account. Right. And then, but you got to know that anybody nowadays is just, they have 15 backups. I, I've literally blocked people on my dog's account. Really? <laughs> that's, a, that's a classic dude who's like, I know what I'm going to do. And he, it, in a 30 second thought, comes mm -hmm. up with that scheme. Yeah. Doesn't put any more thought into it. Mm -hmm. And like initiates what is I really more effort just to not be like, hey, like, yeah. this ain't working. Even if you just... Text it like sure, like that's a shitty thing to do. You should probably do it face like, to face or Gen even Z a phone is call. Totally on board with that. In fact, the, the amount of like the things I learned is like nobody under the age of thirty wants to deliver any bad news no. in person or on the phone ever anymore. I'll no. do it. Yeah, I love it. Oh, when I tell you when I called Lauren to confirm our first date. <laughs> You would have thought I was calling to ask her what that ass do and can I smell it? I mean, she was like, hello? Wait, wait, what? wait. Can you answer the question first? Yeah. <laughs> what does it do? And can he still and can smell he it? can he still smell it? She's odorless. Hairless, oh. odorless. Hairless and odorless. Silky dolphin. Ooh. Silky what's that? dolphin. Mm. Silky dolphin. Something you guys throw around in the bedroom? Thanks, guys. Come here my little silky oh, dolphin. Please. What, yeah. Any wordplay you give him? Nothing off the top of my head. Okay, good. Zach Zach used Thanks. to call him booger bear. Which is wow. kind of cute, a little gross, but kind of cute. I am pretty sure that's always going to be too soon. Mm -hmm. So sorry. Zach. What was his name? Well, no, we were on a topic and then somebody said something crazy. I think it was me and we got <laughs> off of it. If you were to do a job, miserable job, right? Mm -hmm. But it would be, you know, a billion dollars or so, whatever. What would be the job that is not related to creative things you guys think you could do well? I had, I worked at Banana Republic uh, when I was in oh, college. Oh, this guy I'd could buy fold a, a shirt. I'd buy a fucking cashmere sweater from you. Well, well, this guy could fold a we shirt. We were doing, like, we got a new shipment in. They brought us in, like, when the, the store wasn't open and they were like, doing a training thing to like teach us how to sell the new clothes. Oh God. And so this. we had to like stand up in front of everybody and oh, they like, no. we had to pick an outfit and explain. Like, we got like your customer is Janet. She's 44. She's a businesswoman, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And so I did my little presentation and my, my GM at the time goes, Jared, you could be a fantastic used car salesman. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, is that a compliment oh, or it, it couldn't be higher? I, I gotta be honest. This is how I know that I'm not well completely in the head. Uh -huh. That scenario yeah. is my dream. Really? I Middle love, aged women love Jeremy. I love nothing more <laughs> when we all have to go up and do a similar thing that uh -huh. requires, well, you're unable to prepare. Yeah. You could not have a leg up aside of just being able to just bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's my, that's my kink. No way. Are you a big yeah. affirmation guy? Love Enjoy affirmation. Him? Okay. Well, Only what, from other people. Yeah, but what's your favorite one that someone hit you with? You're like, oh, that feels good. She one time said my penis was too big. And that was, I've been <laughs> uh, that's living that. That's a great compliment. Yeah, I've been really living that for about four you, years you now. You said that? I said it was really straight. Yeah, I remember that part. I have to go find a new affirmation. Uh, my ex was staying the night and just finished brushing her teeth. She <laughs> comes in and I tell her that she has a bit of spinach in between her teeth. And then she goes back into the bathroom, punches slash breaks my vanity mirror, and then took 18 stitches to close up her hand. She's okay. My kind of girl. Yeah. Mentally that's stable. Hot. That See, is how I would When Lauren classify. said that she wanted me to run through Los Angeles and have my experience, she wanted me to, to have enough of those, of those experiences yeah. to be like. Where it's like when he met me, he was like. Oh. Do, you, do you have any of those where there's some like weirdos a girl one time showed up on a date with him with like a literal physical checklist and questionnaire like well, what no, jared's doing right now what were some of the questions <laughs> <laughs> i mean long thought out like okay so like in in your ideal world how do finances work throughout dating good and i was like can i get my first entree first what did you not just leave at that point or do you stick it through she was obviously just riddled with daddy issues. So we saw it through. Okay. Oh, yeah. definitely. Okay. Yeah, of course. I assume you saw her areolas. 
the drugs kicked in. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good to know. Somebody saw something. Um, <laughs> Actually, I can confirm. I, th- that was a, uh, I'll grab the check, head it out. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. That was like a, do you need an Uber? Yeah, no, that's- You did uh, need an Uber. Okay. And you have the app? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. I, good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah. Hope you get home safe. Um, okay. Listen, we've had them on for too long, haven't we? Almost two hours. Holy wow. hell. No chance we're having Wait, you guys on here two, any longer. Two hours and no ads? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, guys. Stop. <laughs> Yeah, do you guys have anything that you need to promote for money? Um, do you have? Do you sell your jeans? Well, we don't you need to, to start your a shoes, Patreon. Jeremy? All oh. of our stuff is already ad free. This is more of like a posh <laughs> mark. Um, well, thank you guys so much for coming on. This was deliciously wonderful. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, I thought this was going to be a lot better than it was. And to that we say, we're going through some things, right, Jared? Yeah. And, uh, and thank you guys so much for coming on. This was amazing. If you want to see more of us, when are you coming on our podcast? Monday. Okay. Monday? Oh, Monday. hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, let's do it. We're gonna bring no, like, the show. What do you mean? Well, let's do it. It's in, yeah, yeah, no, it's no, in no. a Google Cal invite. Like Google, we, you're I fucking sent you a coming. Cal invite. Did you send that to me? I thought I did. You didn't send that to me. Well, you guys, by the way, at home, this is all a bit. They're wildly put together. Oh, they're 100%. having the best times of their life, and they've got such great news coming out about all mm-hmm. that good stuff. They're just keeping you on the edge of your seats. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What is it? What's the good news? Uh, <laughs> if you just like and follow their TikTok and just no, don't do that. That's going down downhill too. Anything yeah. else? <laughs> No, no, no. You guys, your audience can stay right here. Okay, where, where can you guys find them? <laughs> where, uh, where? Um, if you guys want to find them at- Oh, you guys aren't putting fucking links in bio? Yeah, this is it. We don't get no, a- we oh, do no, link. Okay, show us a link, damn. And, and, on pay, and on the screen too, but you gotta say it. All right, guys, what, just type in Wild Till 9 on any platform, and if we're not on there, well, we don't want to be. Also, okay, personal perfect. socials as well. Oh, no, Do you guys have a dog there. account? We'll put that in there. Yeah, yeah, dog, yeah our dog account. We'll put your mom's Facebook in there. We don't care. Oh, we no. got no ad reads to fill up the description. Trust so. me, if my mom's Facebook gets put in there, we'll have no ad reads. Oh, okay. Oh. Woof. 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 On that note, thanks for having, thanks for having us. us, guys. Um, if you stay till the end, um, please DM me your favorite picture of these two together um, so I can frame it. So Thank nice. you, guys. All right, bye. <laughs> Holy hell. It's a train wreck of a lovely time. Yeah, that's exactly how I describe it. Oh,